There you go. That was the Hat Films remix album by Barks coming soon to a, a Bandcamp playlist near you. <laughs> wow, I'm not a great DJ, <laughs> Sam. It turns out. I thought I could like thought I could like do do like a cool. Uh, that was Hat Films remix. Your my Uno remix by Barks. Uh, so no, that's I'm excited. I'm excited to um. To have that. Sorry, yeah. Sorry about the ads, guys. There's always like we always have like sometimes a bit longer ads because um, you can always sub or use a Twitch Prime resub to avoid ads. If you don't want to get them. Also, we were having a break, so don't worry about it. Uh, mm, we didn't miss anything. Didn't miss anything. We're back. Uh, me and Tom. Tom's just having a sandwich. We're gonna watch some old fucking videos to talk about, um, and hopefully. You guys will be able to see some old school videos that were never released. So we got the lost videos, me and Tom. I've got two Minecraft videos that were never shown, edited and never released. I don't know why. Well, I kind of do. I think we were planning on finishing it and we never, never did. And I said, oh, well, let's, let's not Let's not do put them out until it's finished. I think maybe someone's ill, someone's maybe went away for Christmas. I don't know. It's not Shadow of the Spirit. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? If I'd said, if it was SOI, I would have put that on the name of the stream, guys. <laughs> Come on. I would have told you. Oh. oh, it's happening. Yeah, we're live. It's happening. Sorry, Tom. People, I said um, it was a Minecraft video and everyone thought it was SOI. Oh, they no, were like, oh. no, 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 no. Well, now, you know, we never actually recorded episode 43. No. But I think at the end of 42, there's like a little hint that there was some stuff prepped for the next episode. But I don't know. Was there? No. Yeah. That was a Does it say, like, next episode? Or not? Pro probably, it probably says to be continued. Mm. Oh. Oh. <sighs> How many sex tapes are there going to be? None. Mm. There, was a, there was a Shadow of Israel thing that we did. Actually, which Terps has been very keen to show off. So maybe... Oh, years ago. Maybe I'll hit up Terps and see if he's still got it. Um, and maybe if you're lucky, we'll play that in a bit in this series stream, The Lost Videos. Tom. Lou. Yes. So where's your playlist? Do you want to see if you can find you, it? I, yeah. Okay. Because. Is this your screen? Are we sharing? Is, screen? Yeah, we're, share, we're going to share a screen. Um, uh, if we get to staff folder. I've got a link because I made it on the main channel. Let's see. Do, do, do. So basically, I just made a list of all the live action things, like big challenges that we've done, uh, and thought we could go through that. Uh, we'll talk about it and stuff. Okay. Set Terps text, see if we can find it. Um, so Pog, Pog for that, maybe. Um, hmm. Okay. So right, is this the is this the lost videos stream playlist? Yes. This is forty seven videos that I put together. Um, can we see the playlist URL? We can post it in I'll post it in Twitch chat do, so yeah. people can like okay. can can have it themselves. It's a public playlist. It's an unlisted, unlisted playlist. So this um, is all of the live action things we've ever done. Uh, in order of doing them? Pretty much, yeah. I, I might have missed a few. Let us know if you missed. I put in a few, like, you see the Yogg's Quest is there. Yogg's Quest... Oh, you can't see it yet. Basically, there's, like, a few select episodes of certain series that I thought we could talk about. Um, so there's not every episode of everything. So there's the first and last of the Don't Starve Challenge. Right. Oh, I see. So this is just something you've put together. Wow. Yeah. And it's 47 videos that you've put in. I did this last night. Holy I, shit. I put them all in. Uh, I went back, scrolled down for about half an hour to get to about four or five years ago. Um, okay. There are a few uh, live action videos that we did before the Don't Stop Challenge. So, for example, the first, the very first one I filmed was um, Jesse and Dodger came down. Where Simon rubs his beard. Simon and Jesse rubbed their beards yeah, all over Dodger. Dodger. 
interesting fact, that night we all went out for drinks and that was when Strippin and Dodger first sort of met and got to know each other. All right. Now they're married with a baby. I know. So you can trace it back to that video, I believe. Unless they knew each other before, I'm not sure. But where they were, where they totally were not being real weird and creepy. That was really, <laughs> really pretty. That was pretty creepy, wasn't it, actually? So oh. I filmed that video. And back in the day, the way that videos used to get filmed were I would be editing with all the five other editors in the room. And be like, Tom, you like cameras. Just come and hold this camera and film this thing. Mm. And I'd say, okay. You like cameras. I like cameras. I think that was on my CV when I applied. I like cameras. You can. I'll be a camera person Good if you need me. And then we filmed a few other ones. Oh Warwick Davis God. in a chair. Do you remember Warwick Davis pushing him around in a chair? Was this before this then? No, this was sort of, I think, either just around this time or just after it. Because this is May 2013. I started at the beginning of February 2013. Mm. So I was. Pro this was probably two or three months after I started. I'm filming this opening bit, but I wasn't actually involved in a lot of the prep for this. And I didn't go on the shoot for this. So you will have to tell. You didn't go on the shoot? No, no, no. Because this is when I just started. Um, it was all prepped by Sparkles, I think. Oh, you're right. Um, and we had a crew in and stuff, but I think it was probably either prepped before I started or because I was new, I didn't get involved. Um, so yeah, I didn't go on this shoot. I just filmed this opening bit and then on the next bit of the playlist is the last episode. I helped film the very last bit. This was, was our sort of um, top gear, if you like, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. Like it was like kind of us wanting to do a fun challenge, top gear style. And just be genuine about it. Not be kind of, there you go, the boys embark on a Top Gear style challenge. Yeah. We were big fans of Top Gear. You know, it was a great show back, back in the it's day. It's a good format, isn't it? It's like your friends. It's like structuring your friendship group, hmm. giving a structure to hanging out. And that's kind of what we always try and do is give it, whenever we do shoots, we don't script what the guys are going to say or anything, do we? No. But what we do is we say, so for example, the Bake Off is a good example. Here's, here's a challenge where you have to make this kind of thing. You have to make a dinosaur theme park. You've got an hour, go and make it. And then everything that happens within that hour, the only kind of structuring is what we've brought you to make the theme park out of. It's a very standard kind of format. Yeah. Yeah, it's just giving you a time frame and an objective. and just. I very specifically said, it. like, when we did this challenge at the start, I was like, Sparkles, we're not going to talk about the game. We're not going to yeah. say the name of the game. We're not going to do anything from the game. We're not going to, like, oh, they do this in the game, let's do that. Yeah. A lot of people want that. And we've had to had to somewhat give in to that occasionally. Um, some, but in this case, we were very lucky that we didn't have to do anything. Heroes in general, they were very, very lucky. They, we didn't have to do a thing. But I remember, for example, the Shenmue challenge. Yeah. They were very much like, this has to be... That we, was, have to, we want references to stuff in the game. That was they approached us with an idea, I think. Yeah, so this was so, we were less involved. Um, yeah. But that's, no, wait, that's that a very was... recent one. But I enjoyed it more when it was completely freeform, yeah, so, organic. Yeah, so the, the best way that we found to do it is you have uh, the game inspires the videos and the challenge, but never dictates what we have to do. Mm. So Don't Starve is, you know, okay, the game is you're in a forest and you're surviving. And so the Jurassic Makeoff was super, super fun yeah. because of it. And I think, like, if we look at this thing, like the Jurassic Makeoff at the end of the place and the Don't Starve Challenge at the beginning of the place, I think these still hold a lot of the same spirit six years sure, apart. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're so. Free form. Yeah. Oh my God, look at this. So this, this was 2013 outside the office, the old office, Portland Square. Yeah. Good morning and welcome to the Got the old cast. music. Today old music. Uh, I am dressed to win the Don't Starve Survival Challenge. How are you doing, Duncan? I'm good. Why are you, uh, why are you like this? Uh, well, basically, we've been playing a lot of Don't <laughs> doesn't, Starve. Doesn't and fit the guys very well. decided to, to challenge us to actually survive a night in the wilderness. And then we had a big argument because Simon was like, you know, it's going to be easy. And Duncan was like, I do it all the time. And I was like, well... In that case, I'm going to beat your asses. because I. So this is me in 2013, guys. This is what I was like back in May 2013. When you were doing everything, you were stressed. You, were do, you, had, no, you had no help. I don't know. I don't know. Did I? Did I not? I don't, I don't know. know. I just I remember, all I remember from that time is you in your office, always busy. I'm always busy. I'm You're busy right. now. That's true. Oh, my God. Playing games. So this isn't actually that different of a time period from when I've got this arctic survival stuff from you know because it was mm. done in october so this is like this is the earliest thing in this playlist well you see and so yet this one, yeah this one in yogg's quest probably were filmed around the same time yogg's quest is yogg's quest. so we would have filmed that in probably around may may june time anyway so this is old 
This was uh, this was up in the Stag and Hot Hound. Stag and Hound, just a pub in Bristol. Uh, what the room at the top? Very, very happy. If you go, sh should we go back? Actually, should we just finish with the Don't Starve Challenge? Because I wanted to show. Yeah, the, sorry. If you Good. skip through, so this was out in Portland Square. It, it felt quite like I wasn't involved in it, but this first bit here. I had to be grabbed from the office because you were like, oh, we better film this bit before we go on the... Did you film this bit? So you? I filmed this bit with the camera, uh, the, the little camera that we had in the office. So this was like a dumb idea that Terps came up with to have Duncan call the Queen or something or someone, someone on the yeah, phone. Yeah, he the Queen. And she's like going to... She's going to tell him what to do. I can't remember. Something there's a, like there's that. a shot coming up where I'm filming Duncan... And I'm kneeling in the road and you drive behind and it feels like you're pretty close to running over my legs. Because I was stupidly kneeling outside that one there. See, I'm kneeling on the ground outside the car and you whiz by behind. Yeah, it's the next bit. So this is where, I mean, whose car is this? I can't remember. That's car, wasn't it? Someone's car. And I just zoom out. So you see, I'm on the floor here kneeling and I turn around. Oh, wow. So what? I did a lap of the square, did I? Yeah, you were like, I'm out of here. And then I think Sparkles filmed this with Simon on the train. No, I don't think he did. Sure. Did he? Did you come in with Simon on the train? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. This is Temple Mead. It doesn't look any different. Exactly. Nice sunny day, though. Yeah. It's a sunny, sunny day, probably. Actually, no, it wasn't, wasn't very nice. It was cold on this day when we recorded this. But if this is out in May, you would have filmed it April, March time, probably. First class. Simon, oh, good old Simon. He's always like, he's always got funny shit to say. He's good. Like, he's good. just point a camera at Simon. About a booking for a field. He gets interrupted by the train. So, so, it's just outside of Bath. So I'm taking the train to Bath, getting a head start on those two falls. Um, got me stuff, got me briefcase. Uh, I'd like to see what's inside. Have a guess, what do you think's inside? But you're thinking Jaffa cakes, aren't you? No, going to a field. Pat me Wellington. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your customer Hayes speaking. We have an express coffee on board this train. If you put a set of tea, coffee, hot chocolate, tea, savory snacks, soft drinks, porridge, pastries, sandwiches, and hot baguettes. Express coffee can be found in Coach M. In between, first and Sky Deck Class towards the front of the train. Thank you. Lovely. I want to get a cup of tea. See you later. See. Left the whole bit in, but I like. I think, I that's, think that's the right like decision, that. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the right so I edited call. this. I edited this. First oh, good. Did you? I didn't realize. Yeah. So don't don't be harsh on the edit. No, I think, <laughs> I think leaving that all in is like the right decision, isn't no, it? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like. So it's a, it's a it's a funny choice because a lot of people would cut that. Not me. Exactly. A lot of people would cut. Like as soon as he had the Wellingtons, they'd be like, "Brought me well. He's cut." You know. Yeah. Exactly. You got to leave it leave it in a bit don't longer you than you probably should. Pat me Wellingtons. Jeremy you know I Wellingtons, and then you'd have to yeah. cut just before that announcer came in, and that yeah. would, the whole thing would go. Yeah. But like from from early on, me and you were like, let's fucking keep that shit. Keep in. it awkward. Keep it. it because it's this it's whole bit afterwards. Okay, it's just I don't know. Like it's very yeah. Simon, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Simon on the train. You in the car. I think Terps was filming you here. So, so it's all very all over the place. People are just grabbing yeah, cameras like and filming whatever they whatever they can. Simon arrives in Bath. And then my car, like, I did, I did do junk. some... Is it Terps' Hello? car that... Is that the Bit, car that ended up getting broken on the Heroes How's of Genoa? How's it going? This one, maybe. Because <laughs> I think you were driving Terps' car. Does second get any points or get two points? Oh, and it was very, very Top Gear, wasn't it? This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very ghetto. So in a sense, like... This was like a, a little bit scripted, okay, in a sense that, you know, we thought we wanted, you know, but, but it was so easy to do. It was like, you know, yeah. uh, uh, what, what do you do with Survival and Fear? Well, I can just wear my army stuff. I can just wear the stuff I've got for camping. And Simon's like, well, I'll just wear a fucking dressing gown. Job done. Yeah. And it's like, more like giving you an angle or giving you a, a sort of persona or something over at the to hinge. latch on to. Yeah. In a sense, it's a little bit like on the very most recent one. You know, we're given a whole bunch of stuff to build to work with, like yeah. pots and pads. We don't have to bring our own stuff. We're given like a lot of props and things mm -hmm. to make. You know, you're given the stuff. Yeah. Um, but you're not told what to do with them or anything no, like no. that. You know. 
Oh, this is so. This is the original cut, which no one's seen. This is the thirty minute. Thirty minute. This was my first cut, which I sent off to Grumps to, I guess, recut for their channel. Right. Um, but then, yeah. So yeah. the so the original one that went out was, um, yeah, like 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 they they cut this thirty one minute down into like a, it's like eighteen minutes they cut it down to I think. But um, they added like a minute at the front, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so they added like their intro and their sort of style. So, so at least sort of twelve thirteen minutes of this is gone. Yeah. So I don't know whether it's like crappy deleted scenes. Maybe just the it might just be a bit long. I think I probably if I'd have gone in for another Good. cut, I probably would have cut it down a bit more as well. So I thought. Sorry, so this is a bit all over the place. This stream or all already. Sorry, right. we're basically just going through the playlist. I'm, I'm just, we're just sort of talking about whatever comes to our mind. If you go to the next episode, because basically, I, what's interesting actually, so I edited the first one, and then the next two episodes of Don't Starve were edited by Kim when Kim was an editor. Really? So Kim edited uh, episode two and three, and then I came back and did four and five and the outtakes. So I did this one as well. But what I thought was interesting about this one is the bear at the end is Tom Clark. Right. So you did the whole thing where Simon gets attacked by a bear. Fucking, there's so much we could talk about here, but uh, we were, sp these guys are local, honey. This is like what we were talking about on our earlier stream. This was a product placement. Well, effectively. The guy gave us a, a barrel of cider for free. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was we, like, oh. you're going gonna to make a video on the farm? And we're like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, well, could you promote my cider? And I was like, wow. okay. <laughs> could you promote it by just leaving a barrel? Well, that's like, well, I think he just gave us the barrel. That was the payment. We didn't right, get. Okay. It wasn't like we got twenty grand to flip in from yeah, Honey's Midford can, Cider you can camp in my field. I also don't think Don't Staff would have approved had we had like an Ooh. additional sponsorship. Yeah, I'm not sure they're like a big big deal, but yeah. that was the payment, and we were like, you know, what, we'll have it. Oh, and then I've, I've got one of Sparkles' Ooh. cigarettes here at the end in my mouth. I was like, oh. I tell you what, if you keep so you get to the bit where um, <laughs> so we do. I love this. Play that. I love. I love that bit. Oh yeah, this bit with the outtakes. <laughs> no, no, this is the bit where you put your glasses on. <laughs> it could still be around, Dunk. The outtakes what? might be there another video. It was here last night. Look at this acting. I guess Simon couldn't bear it. <laughs> if, you, if you go back. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a Jaffa. Yeah. What I was going to say before we get to that bear bit is the bit where Simon's attacked, we didn't film that, or the guys didn't film that on the day. What bit? It? Hang on. Let me just find it. It's the bit where Simon's asleep and you hear the bear so uh, Duncan's asleep and you hear the bear sounds. So this wasn't filmed on the day? Are we going to spoil the magic? I yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this here, this was actually filmed on the floor Duncan, of the office, the old Duncan, office. Duncan, wake up, watch out! It's a bear! With Simon outside I going... Think, I think it's humping your tent! I think it's looking for his mate. So I pitch okay. Simon's voice down. This oh is God. Simon making his voice. It's coming for me. I'm going. Ah. 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 I do vaguely remember you, this. You recorded your voice just standing in the office saying, Simon, no, uh, there's a bear. Uh. And then stuck all this together. So this was all filmed in the office way after the fact when we were editing. And then we cut back to obviously the bit we just saw here. And then, way after the fact again, I can't remember how the idea came up, but went and rented a terrible bear suit, That's stuck Tom Clark in it. There. It was a Simon idea. Was it? Of course, it's a stupid yeah, yeah, Simon yeah. idea. It's perfect. We ran away together. It was amazing. The way that so you this held is me and Sparkles holding the camera in, in, a, in a cafe around the corner from the office. Yeah, on Portland Square. Oh. I don't think it's open anymore. There's like Terps in the background. Animal. Is it? Yeah. You were amazing. That's Tom Clark. I was amazing. <laughs> he couldn't even hold it together for like no. five fucking seconds. <laughs> God, the old end screen. Look at that. Memories. Holy shit, it is old school, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, Wolf Quest. Oh, Wolf Quest, the fucking episode of Don't Starve with Sips looking like like he's lost all his hair. That was tied in with this, I think. And then Yog Labs was like that fucking one where we had all the... Yeah, doors. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. And then, so we would have filmed this around, I guess, April, and then around June, 
July we would have filmed. The Ox Quest, scraping the bottom of the barrel of adventure. I so, love that intro. So Adam designed this intro, uh, which is really cool. And then me and Terps wrote the script that Simon says now. Uh, the whole scraping the bottom of the barrel of adventure and then the rest of what he says. Uh, we wrote that. Yacht's Quest, scraping the bottom of the barrel of adventure. It is the age of heroes. Unfortunately, none of them were available at the time of recording. Instead, we have a ragtag bunch of level one noobs who constantly break character and generally are a bit shit. They have rallied to the cry of a town in peril, beset by foul beasts and nasty little buggers. Perhaps the dungeon master will be able to guide them to glory. Or maybe he will be their undoing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hello and welcome Who's to the Yogscast Dungeons and Dragons. That useful boy. A special adventure for you, the viewer. Today, I can see our first adventurer approach. A noble dwarf whose heritage is unknown, lost in the mists of time. Here, he approaches. Hello. <laughs> um, and then I it's already Honey back Duke. to like the, yeah. the production like quality drops, doesn't it? It's like that's what you got. Really do. cool. Drops another notch. Drops yeah. another notch. So all this stuff, all this, you see these skulls and stuff. That was me and Tom and maybe someone else went round St Nick's Market and just looked for this sort of Dungeons and Dragons, these sort of stuff. So these candles, really? sort of battery power candles. So this is before Tom got Alex's. So normally what happens is nowadays, or ever since then, Tom gets a bot, goes to Alex's house, and just fills up with stuff, and then brings it back. Yeah. And so every other s live action challenge we've done has just been filled with crap from well, yeah. Alex's house. Alex from Battle Boys, he just lives in this treasure trove of trinkets and... Yeah, collectors. This was, I think Tom Clark knew the people at the Stag. Yeah, so the Stag and Hound is where we used. To, we don't really drink there anymore, but that's where we used to go. It's also Alex's like local because it's like round the corner from Alex's place, and so as a result, like I think that they, or Alex or Tom knew the person who ran it. Tom knows everyone. possibly. So yeah, they we certainly we, know a lot of people who seem to run pub. Yeah, so this is the room upstairs. Um, we didn't have any other necessary cameras for this. So I don't think we've doxed Alex by saying <laughs> he lives in near a pub. I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous. All right, relax, people. So Calm I was going to say, we, we, nowadays we get camera crews, we get all these cameras that can run forever. In these days, there was next to no preparation at all. So we had whatever cameras we had in hand. I think I bought my own camera, and we used Probably. the camera from the office, sure. and they're stills cameras. So they only run for 10 minutes. Right. So it was I, me sitting on one side, Sparkle sitting on the other, and every 10 minutes, we'd have to stop and restart the cameras oh without God. trying to miss anything. So I started a few seconds after him. So when his thing ran out, he'd stop. I'd go, I'd go wide to capture everyone. And then he'd restart. And then I'd stop and restart. So I had to We had together. no idea this was happening. Really? Yeah. And then I, I, I had, like, we had a limited amount of batteries because we obviously didn't have enough batteries. So I bought whatever batteries I had from home, charging them frantically behind, hoping they didn't run out. Just slowly the batteries were wearing down because they didn't have enough time to recharge before the other ones wore out. And yeah, we were just sitting there right at the end of the table, really close actually, I seem to remember. We were like, right, you'll see, maybe you'll see, I don't know. We were right at the end of the table, the two of us. But now we have five cameras and we have sound in the studio. And back then, it was, it was crazy. Got, like four beards with me. And I thought, so I'm wearing the, um, There's another. I'm wearing the t shirt that was, that was done because we had a t shirt design competition. Right. And the winner was Tutron. Really? And that's what, how he got hired. Yeah. But this person who came second, I think, did the design for that T-shirt. And that's what I'm wearing. The diamond the shovel. Day, that diamond shovel, yeah. I can't remember what it said on it. I don't know. It's like diggy diggy hole or something from Yeah. Me. So we had Duncan the Wizard. I'm a gnome wizard. Uh, and then Shin. The Rat King. Doors, the Rat King. Ah, one of my favorites. Um, Shin, like, like these characters, again, they haven't changed much over the years you know shin is still <laughs> the quiet kind of troll wise cracking in the corner duncan's still trying to do his best sips is still not interested in playing the game <laughs> just wants to do his own shit um 
So he's on his... On Do you, uh, I have an intro song yeah. as well? Hang, let me just... Uh... You have an intro song. That's right. To, to cheer our party. That's right. As I they approach... Got a ukulele manual right here. Okay. Need to consult so, yeah. quickly to... Uh, Do you want me to it? So, oh so, you, I, there it is. Okay. okay. The, uh, the Rivers of Babylon. You got yeah. it. On the rivers of... <laughs> <laughs> Gave it a go. Uh, and then we decided oh, to do these ways as well. Talking heads. He has the soul of a musician. I think he's up there with the greats, with Val Dunican, <laughs> with um, <laughs> that guy who who sang about birds. Um, what was it? Um, this is an example of leaving it way longer. Than I'm normally. free yeah. as a bird, free like a bird. He was amazing. I walked into the room yeah. and like, no. <laughs> yeah, just like letting it build up. Yeah. And then we did these intros. Do you remember these intros with the little? Oh, the little animated. Oh no, we had these. These were yeah. These were on a spinny thing. So it was me and Tom Clark trying to figure out how to do it, and we had a little record player that someone had left in the office. So we put a black screen behind it, behind the turntable, put the model on it, and then uh, yeah, just turn around. Who has created his character? And, it, and it's here. I will show you this in close up. Duncan faints. Yeah. It's like a. I think it was like a little wizard with googly eyes. I'm a gnome. And then the animated intros were good. Yeah, well, these were Can really we play good. Shins? I, I really liked Shins' Rat King intro. Shins was the best one, yeah. It's so funny. Problem. Would you like to, to, to share your, your story? I am Skin, the Rat King. Now, I was born to a couple of unloving elven parents and, uh, and they flushed me. But I was found by my dad here. You got flushed down the sewers. Yeah. And you got adopted by rats. That was sad. That was a sad and that's your dad. They found me and <laughs> he nurtured me with his teats. And uh, <laughs> oh my god, he only had one teat though. <laughs> oh, no. So I had oh. a very salty upbringing. But... Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> what, a, what a charming tale! <laughs> but <Jesus> yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are your goals? What have you got? Oh, life yeah. goals. I, well, I love this. <laughs> that was great. That was really nicely done, wasn't it? Actually, that whole that whole bit. Yeah. It's a really good joke. Nice little bit of animation. Improvised around it. Oh, it was good. It was good. And then oh, I didn't include the death of Rat Dad. Which is one of my favourite moments. What like, was that? I can't I remember. remember the death of Rat Dad. Oh my god, let's see. Oh, where was it? It's where Duncan Yacht's rolls a wand. Quest. Scraping the and uh, spoilers for Yogg's Quest, but things don't go well. Uh, Duncan isn't very, very good with his telekinetic <laughs> no, powers. And as he suspends the rat, it starts flipping over, out of control, the rat's squeaking, and he just <laughs> flings rat off, Dad, no. hits the ceiling. <laughs> Just explodes in a big pizza. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, no, oh my Christ. God! I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. He rolled the one. Oh yeah. I love you, Dad. Oops. <laughs> I remember you saying, oh, that's a bit dark. Do you not think we need to bring the rat back to m make sure people aren't, like, traumatised by the death of Rat Dad? <laughs> Is that so, what I said? So we brought him back for this next shot. To show that he's actually alive. It's just, it's fine. Oh, I see. Like, fine. like he was a character. Yeah, so he was just I'm playing. Gonna... He's not actually... Is that what I dead. said? That yeah, was yeah, my, yeah. like... Wow. 
I added that scene. That's it. Holy shit. Yeah, oh man. I, I really love this series. Oh. So what we, we lightened it by making a little joke at the end. Yeah. Weird. It's weird what you remember and what I remember. I have no idea the things I say, no. honestly. Well, yeah, so that's... Man, Yogg's Quest 1. I mean, it kind of went downhill after that. Really. <laughs> well, the weird thing is that this came out in August 2013. November 2013 is when we filmed the next Yogg's Quest. But as you'll see on the right here, Yogg's Quest 2 doesn't go out for... A year. A year. It was sat in... It was, I think that was the thing, though. It was like a faff. Well, it was, I think it was that the first one, Tutoron did all the drawings... And in the second one, because it was so much longer, the first one's like 10 episodes. The second one's 20-something episodes. So we got lots of different artists to do lots of different sections. And it was coordinating all those artists, editing together all those episodes. And it just ended up spreading out over an entire year, basically, trying to get all these animations done. Because it was full of animation, or full of drawings. Um, yeah, you're right, it was. And it was just like, how long are we going to take? And then it was just... Kept taking longer yeah, and longer. Going. So yeah, that was Yogg's Quest One. Fond memories that that's my first few months of of Yogg's Cast there. So, so that was editing that really, rather than filming. I mean, there was a I day filmed of filming and then editing it for a long time. Yes. Yeah, so this Cause these episodes were like you know a couple of days of work each, more more. Oh, easily. Yeah. This was basically all I did for this time was do Yogg's Quest. So I, I, this was my camera. I think I was on Sips and Shin, their camera, and then for the rest, of, I just edited, spent my time editing the ten episodes of Yogg's Quest. Um, then we move on to the next one. This is the beginning Trials of... Trials Fusion Challenge. I don't remember this at all. You don't remember f the little bikes and the ramp? Was this, at, was this at the warehouse? Yeah, so this first episode is building the bikes. So we've fast-forwarded a year, April 2014. Was this, was this before or after Block and Load? Before. And we went to the, the Block and Load warehouse? This is the this. first time we used that warehouse. Really? So the first episode here is building the bikes. Oh, I remember this. Um, so you put like, we built the bikes and came up with themes for them and all this sort of stuff. Terps was doing it. We did all this thing. in the downstairs room, which then became the Hat Films room. This was our common room and then became Hat Films office. Look at the young yeah, Hat Films. This it. wasn't even that long ago. No. This is like four it's years ago. Uh, well, and there's a young Tom Clark. Yeah, so <laughs> me and Tom went Truly to uh, a local yeah. skate park. Yeah. You can see in the following to test to test the bikes because basically the whole challenge was you have these really powerful remote control bikes and we'll build different ramps and you have to design the bike and come up with a story and then we'll see who can do the best tricks and the best ramps and all this sort of stuff. But we had to check how whether the bikes could even make it over a ramp. So we were like, oh, I guess we'll go to a skate park and see how they handle going off a ramp. Right. So me and Tom went to this skate park. I think Alex might even be there in the background somewhere. That's so it. we've had Doomhammer this long. There's Doomhammer in the background there. Doomhammer, yeah. you had Doomhammer before I even started. You used that as a doorstop. You used that to, didn't you unbox something with Doomhammer? You like yeah, we did. It. I forgot. Fuck me. Yeah. So this Terps is... without dad bod. Yeah. yeah. This is our old, this is our Pre-dad Terps. With his skinny beard. He's got such a dense beard now. And look at that. Just, just the Yeah, that's what, what it used to look like. Yeah. Sometimes things can go terribly wrong. So look, there's Alex in the bottom corner. Oh my see? God, you're right. There he is. Oh, Lewis, your head's blocking it. Oh, right? sorry, I'm blocking Alex, but he's uh, there. But he's here. So this is Alex, this is young Tom. Um, and this is our bike test. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> easy off the ramp. And that's you saying, and that's oh, the, oh, and then that's you looking at yeah. the broken... And the bike just totally broke. These are quite expensive bikes, and this was supposed to be just a test. Just destroyed He's a bike. A minute. So, <laughs> yeah. And then there's, look at these hat films, lads. Yeah. Oh, my God, the, they the look teams so are young. You can fly. Look at Ross. Honestly, they said it with the old Superman films, but truly, you'll believe look at these boys. a man can fly when you see this... Mini they look bike. like the Beatles, <laughs> the young Beatles, they do, don't they? So fresh faced, yeah, full steep. of hair. It's deep. It's nice. I think we probably get a shot of Sam. <laughs> so innocent <laughs> somewhere on the sound because Sam was doing sound on all this. We don't need to cry. <laughs> so this beautiful. was all done so yeah, in, the, in there, the big um, room probably downstairs. With the most wasn't it? Yeah, this, oh, yeah, 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 this is color room. So you put uh, up these Lewis two now, crappy um, tents. Put up the, uh, Tom Clark was like the sort of maestro behind a lot of this. Tom Clark would organize organize a lot of this stuff. 
So he organized this next. So we'll, we'll skip forward to the next video, which is in the warehouse. Yesterday. Which will become infamous as our go-to sort of warehouse. Um, Three the same teams set, set up. out to make the fastest thing on two wheels. Three Today teams. we see yep. which is the fastest. Shin and Duncan, you and Simon, and then Hetfield. Oh, right. this thing. Simon wasn't there on the first day. No. He's here now, though. So... Yeah. One, one, one horsepower. horsepower. That's, all, that's all you need, though. Just the one horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. I wish you the best one. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is just, again. This is an example of us just grabbing the camera. So this is me just on a camera. Sam with his boom mic. I think Alex Turner might be there as a second camera somewhere. But that's all we had. Just a couple of cameras from the office. All these bikes set up. Oh yeah, I was wearing that old. Thing. It's weird to see my old clothes and like. Yeah, these guys. Should we look at... Oh, the first one was a nightmare. That was just um, with the traditional bikes beats. racing around in a circle. Okay, we had so no idea how to film it. Higher pitch beat, go, so ready. later, Shenmue, we basically did exactly the same course. Do you remember? Oh, my God. And they were dressed did. as ducks running around this central pillar. Oh, my God, you're right. Do you remember? I, for some reason, I thought this was, like, after block and load. No, no. But no. Me, me, so. me, me, me. So this is just crazy. Bikes go everywhere. We didn't know how to film it. Andrew! They, they, they were so uncontrollably. He's going, he's yeah. back! And they could only go in a straight line. We, we, we <laughs> fucked them so bad. <laughs> we just stuck GoPros on everything, got cameras everywhere, just filmed everything. It really, the thing is, the big thing about these videos is that people don't feel the danger that we feel when we're there. So, like, when you're there and these bikes are whizzing round, you're convinced they're going to break your ankles. Yeah. Because they're coming so close to... And they're quite big, chunky fucking things. They look yeah. tiny little toys in on these videos. But actually, like, you know, these things are fucking... If they hit you, they'd, they'd hurt. Especially since they go pretty fast and, like, you know, they're smashing into, like... Some of them have Some of them have, on. like... <laughs> do you know what I mean? They're going pretty fucking fast, yeah. See, look, they're coming towards us here and we're just panicking. <laughs> and Alex there in the corner, again, unfazed. Alex is fucking... Oh, look at Alex. A young Alex. Alex has always been on phase because he looks at things, anything flying at him through a camera lens and it doesn't, doesn't phase him. So, yeah. Bikes oh, going crazy. The next episode, yeah, wraps. Jumping 12 double-decker buses. He made it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. This little GoPro on the floor there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. You not only cleared it, you did a one-handed jump. Oh, well, you know, got the back I don't know end how, of my how fast we should skip through these. But, uh, oh, I think we are right. No, just, just, just go. For go. It. But yes, ninety-five, wasn't it? A very long time ago. Um, I think the Burning Eagle was about to um, make its entrance oh, now. Good. So uh, ostentatious to one side, it is truly a beautiful vehicle. All right, this is a lot of pressure right now. Burn myself. Okay, one's lit. One more set. Is this for the jumps one? So I remember at the time. Oh, there we go, right. This we're looked like they were jumping right, out. I would move out the way yeah, This looks like it's going to go. Look back on the camera. Sort it all looks really. Well, there's a few. Like sort this like one is eagle. again yeah. jumping the jumping the buses. <laughs> and then the next one is where it's like wall of death. These are the big jumps. Is this where we knacked it at the end? Yeah. At the end, the idea was to destroy it. Mmm, a delicious. They were in the office, those yogurt mm, bars. Delicious. Yeah. We're just about to stop for some food, but it, I think the guys, I think they want to start the next challenge. So I'll leave this going. It's nice and romantic there with some nice sparklers. Um, this next challenge, the guys have to jump the same ramp again. Um, this time, instead of trying to break a world record of buses, um, they've got to try and clear my lovely dinner table, my lunch table there, without actually breaking anything. For yeah. So, they did manage. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy well shit. <laughs> That's an exception. He just came out. Oh, I mean, there's such a nice edit, this. We burn a hole in the wing. That is going to affect her ability to fly. Oh no, oh. The, the wing is, the wing is now. <laughs> Oh, Mandrigo, oh, you just, just got it. 
How many takes did we have to do with failed jumps, though? Yeah. I, I, on Sheen and Duncan's one, it failed a lot. It stabilizes on that one. Yeah. Just goes, just fucking launches it. Yeah, it looks good in the video. It looks better than. I, but I always remember like it being less impressive in a sense. Like, really? Than it was in the we day. We set up a bunch of cameras on tripods. Did you and it's still work? Yep. I think what the still way going. I remember it was. Still going. Okay. We fantastic. felt these things were quite big. Yeah. And so, so flinging Tom's them around, but they looked a little smaller bit. on camera. That's, That's generally the way is like things seem smaller and less dangerous the, on camera uh, than when you're there. The has been removed, I so believe. like the forklift yeah. racing, the that, been removed. that felt so dangerous. But on yeah, camera, yeah. I don't yeah. think people really, <laughs> really felt the danger. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my um, god. So, well, that wasn't quite. Um, well, yes. Um, so, we had a fireman there all day. Confident. Just stood so there. Do this. On there. So, uh, just a little small flame. That's all do, we're, that's do all we're a, after. A wall of really. flame. So, um, hopefully, it will stay nice and humble uh, for, for this track. A wall of flame. So, the team. They're all day There's a pretty impressive wall later on. There. Like the last wall is, is, is still massive. That's big. That's a big thing. I'm freaking landing it. We landed it. She is a survivor. Well done, guys. Burn an eagle. Indestructible. Burn an eagle. She made Holy shit, that film was just like... That was, that was... This was great. I forgot... I've completely forgotten that we even did this challenge. Yeah. It's just... It's almost like gone. I didn't realise it was so long. And so we did so much. Did loads. Jesus. And then we... So then was Heroes of Generals. Fuck Yeah, 9th of May, 23rd, 2014. I forgot about how much little extra editing went into these. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like... So this is a mixture of know, actual man. World War II footage and our footage. Right. So you're you're in some of this, but I put an effect over it. The rule book is buried and forgotten. Here there are no there penalties is. except the one for losing. And it's not measured That's in yards. Us. That's it's me, that was me. Life that was you. Yards. In the back there, so um, if you go back to that one, one where there's four Because I was here on the day as sort of behind the scenes man. So I'm the one behind this guy here. You're this guy? Yeah. Measured in yards. There you go, that's yeah. the Tom Bates. Who are these guys? Just ex They're other reenactors that we got. But um, what I did what <laughs> I did was I put a black and white filter over it, put grain over it, and then what, the, good, the trick that really solved it for me <laughs> was you cut out frames so you'll notice it like judders like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that to me really sold it as like old old. Footage. I thought this was official footage. No, this is us. Measured in life. Obviously, yeah, 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 yeah. Well done. Your stock and trade is the <laughs> weapon you're armed with. So funny. <laughs> it's your best friend. Keep it clean, use it properly. <laughs> And it won't let you down. This soldier's got the killer instinct, which is right. You'll be in plenty of tight places before this is over. And this is a real remember this. voiceover. No There's Tom Clark. Never won a battle <laughs> without getting his hands dirty and bloody. And these are the boys we're going up against. A gang Ben's of, one of these. bandits. There's Ben. With his oh, sense fuck! Of fair play and these guys are from the devs. We didn't ask for this war. Tom Clark's dad, that was driving the off it. track. What? We There's Tom Clark's dad. Because this is all this King. gear and stuff. Tom Clark's, dad, Clark. Tom Clark's dad restores all the old World War II vehicles and stuff. And I guess knew all these reenactors. And we got costumes and air rifles. Well, not air rifles, airsoft guns. That's Ben. Ben. With as much sense of fair play as a scorpion. We didn't Tom Clark's dad. ask for this war, but we know this how to us. fight it and win it. This is us as well. Oh, yeah. Glorious color. So I didn't direct this or anything. I edited it, but I... Um... I remember we watched this back in a theatre, didn't we? Yeah, we, we brought the Screen little... guys down, and we rented it, and we watched all these videos back to back, and it was real fucking fun. It was fun. It's really fun watching them on the big screen. So I was behind the scenes, guys. So I was here on the day in costume. Direct. Jesus, you're not. No. Yeah. Who was directing it then? Adam and Tom Russell. 
charge like produce enough. So Adam was great to see. Really, Adam Davis. Yeah. And this was where you were like, uh, too much acting. I was like, too much acting. You were like, I don't really like acting. So this, this took a whole morning just to do this this forest bit. As Ben. But I think we we got away with it with the whole um, you say that the sun is ended up in the camp. Americana. Forward. Come on. <laughs> Don't look at the camera and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we filmed this afterwards in the same room as we filmed Yogg's Quest One. Oh, we're in the, the fucking stack and ham room. Yeah. No way. This is one of my favourite bits, actually. <laughs> this mission requires a small crack unit. Yes. We descend them in silently behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. I'll use this as a. Yes. I don't know what. Are we red or blue? Blue. We're blue. Either way, they take the supplies before the enemies get their hands on them. Good. These boys will do. And if not, I don't care. Really. Okay. Let's get drunk. Was okay. there no Smithy? Uh, no, I guess oh, yeah. not. I don't remember <laughs> why. I, don't remember why. I guess we just needed to. Did these guys oh, just come in as a cameo? That's piss. Yeah, so the idea was I think it was edited together and we decided that we needed some more structure or you, know, you needed some sort of direction as to why you were doing this. Because I think what we did was I think either I decided or someone decided that we needed to change the order of things. Because the original order was going to start with you guys at the gate there mm -hmm. saying we just landed. But we thought it'd be better to open on the battle. Oh, I so see. We had to restructure so it was it. more exciting at the start. Yeah. So we had to restructure it to make sense with using these guys as, you know, explaining, okay, now they're in. They've been split up because of the battle and now they're getting back together again. So, I mean, it turns into a very standard Yogg's Cast. Yeah, so I didn't edit the second one or the third <gasps> one. But this was the one with the grenade, This right? was the grenade one. Yeah. Where Simon blew his hand off. I think Colin edited this one. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Simon. Just, just pull the grenade. It's easy. Oh, and God. then, bam! It just goes straight off in his hand. It doesn't want to come out. Ugh. And then, oh! ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did actually go off in my hand. Um, it's genuinely oh, like, oh god! That was a disaster. Are you okay? Well, my hand hurts. Oh, my... Look at your face. Getting yeah, there's like <laughs> it's like a mixture there of realizing that we're still alive, but yeah. also, God. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, um, first aid. First <laughs> medic. Well, the thing is, it doesn't look like a problem, but obviously, <laughs> it really kind of bruised his hand. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, wait, wait, call the helicopter. It's not supposed to go off in your hand, obviously. Yeah, that's pretty pretty rough. Yeah, and here we go. He's he was a bit shaky afterwards, <laughs> wasn't <Yeah>. he? <laughs> Poor boy. Well, it's already been a rough day, you know, out and about in the in the rain, in the in the wild. It's it was about to get rougher for Simon, to be honest, because he ends up on a tank. Yeah, I mean that was nuts as well. That was so fucking dangerous. <laughs> so this was digging That's... holes. So this was the cr this was sort of a filler episode, if you like, where we were just fucking around doing the old jokes cast shit, and then this one. No, I did. I went came back to edit this one. This one was a the... battle. The battle, and then it started with, oh god, it was such a fucking wet, miserable wet day. I can't remember how many days this shoot was. One day. We did all this in one all day. All one day? Yeah. Five episodes in a day? Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Holy shit. And it ended right at the, the end of the day after like... all this. After Simon had his hand blown off and all this stupid shit, and then he's on this fucking, where is he? I know it's a sit. We were just, yeah, so the tank rolls in to save the day. You guys are pinned down. And in comes Simon on the back of the real tank. You can barely see it's him, but that is really Simon just grabbing on for his life on the top of a slippery, wet tank. It was so, so fucking dangerous putting him up on there. He was so... Yeah. sort of pushed him into it. And it well. really goes off. This really fires. This isn't an effect. That is actually the tank firing. Obviously, the machine gun is an effect, but the actual f boom out of the tank is they put some explosives... It was a blank in there. Explosives down into it. Goes off. That's the the effect. Or 
Then, yeah. It was so dodgy up here. The, the three of us standing up there felt so unsafe. Well, you see, we were like holding on for dear life, and then they're like, "Okay, we need to do the take." So we all stood up straight for like five fucking seconds to try and <sighs> do this. You've seen the behind guys. the scenes how much it rained oh, and the smell how of slippy victory. that tank was. So good. Just and a slick on top. Oh, it's so bad. That that back of that tank. Holy yeah. shit. Now the next the next video is is one of my favorite videos. Yeah, we talked about this a bunch actually. The Simon Lane story. So this was the behind the scenes. So this was me and Tom. I, I was filming and Tom C was asking questions. Yeah. And Simon answering in. And so it's like a bit of a behind the scenes, but also it was supposed to be like a band of brothers sort of talking heads. It's one of it. one of one of the funniest videos we've done actually. Yeah, it's a really really great video. But you'll see the rainy bit further on. Oh, when, um, what, what, what here? Like just is it there? Yeah, just before that because we've got I've got footage of him climbing onto the tank. Oh, there's yeah, Smith so getting there's the some explosive on his head. So there's Ben. Oh, yeah. I remember when the safe zone. Okay, cool. It's a great bit, actually, this. It's like a clod of earth gets fired up into the air. And Tom, Tom's reaction is just nuts, isn't it? He's like, can't believe it. <laughs> I think it's because his beard now masks most of his expression, so seeing him react so strongly is, is unusual. Well, it is unusual, because it's, yeah. I oh, guess hang on, you just missed thing. it. Oh, I missed the rain. So if you just, uh, I think it's just after here, yeah. Simon's talking about his hand getting blown off. There you go, okay. Go back. Just, just, before <laughs> this. just play it from there, yeah. So this is the real tank going off again. I was stood on the other side, so I filmed it. Oh, there. so you filmed it from the other angle? Yeah. Simon on the actual tank. Because I was blocking the road, that was my job as well. Make sure cars don't come Christ. Up. Getting up on the tank was rough. Tanks, they're not really sort of designed for people to sort of clamber onto. And I managed just barely. Um, and there was nothing to hold on to really whilst I was up there. I had to sort of have my arm around a gun and hold on for dear life. It had just started to rain to uh, during that point. Of and this the, is slick, so, so fucking the, slick. The war. The, the war. It Look wasn't there he goes. He had, oh, oh, he's it wasn't scary. Like going on so dangerous. We would we'd we'd never do anything like this these days. No. We were actually in France. Not for Simon. Get a for it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get the traffic <laughs> Good videos, though. Great videos. Great fucking videos. Holy shit. Well, so sorry, guys. This is like, what makes these videos lost? So, so these aren't lost videos. Well, we're going to share with you some lost videos in the, last, in the next two hours. Um, because we wanna sh I want to I wanna show you two Minecraft videos mm. that we recorded and never put out. That are older than this. Classic 2013, 2012. 2013? I, I, they, they were saved on, they were edited on, in, on the 13th of October, 2013. Classic Minecraft that was never released. Wow. Never yes. released. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's S not SO. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine, it's not, oh my God. It isn't, it isn't SO. It's, um, it's just some random, random adventure map we did it wasn't very good there was a reason why it wasn't yeah. released don't get excited that's the about thing all these videos there's a reason they're not released yeah uh, well I actually I don't know what it was like maybe it's great maybe it's yeah. fine but it's probably not it's probably a bit weird yeah um, so there is going to be the lost videos but it's going to be a bit weird and then obviously the other lost video we have is the two cuts from the Jurassic Make Off the full cut before the Game Grumps edited it yeah down to 18 minutes. Extended edition. So it's going to be a long, boring version. That's it, yeah. Of the Jurassic <laughs> Make Off. A less funny, longer version. Yeah. Of the episode. Um, so what shall we do? What do you want to do now? So we, shall, we get, shall, shall we show something that. Shall we actually do a lost video? Do you want to see this? We could pepper this with lost videos if do you want. Do you want to watch this Jurassic World Make, Jurassic World make Off? We yeah. should do. So this is like. So if you go, the, the beginning is sort of the most different because this. I mean, the thing is, I don't know if people remember like what the original style was, but this is a much more Bake Off style intro. So what this was... When Frontier Development approached us about... So, so can we hear this, Sam? Can I just get this a bit louder in my ears as well? I don't know if people can hear Yeah, me too. 
Um, there's a bunch of stuff like um, on the. There's a bunch of stuff that that's, that's never kind of that we've recorded and never gone out. Um, and 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 with live stuff, it's like a lot of stuff doesn't make the cut or. We, but we do try and keep stuff in that's funny too. Like we ge generally, we have we don't have many outtakes because I like to keep the outtakes in wherever possible. So like the announcement on the train from the Don't Stop Challenge probably would have been an outtake, but we keep those in. This is a lost video. So this is this is the, the original Game Grumps cut of this, the Jurassic. We could bring that up if you want. Off, yeah. Um, yeah, make off. The original one of these. Legally distinct. We're, go we're going to England. Um, 20 minutes long, okay, and the first they did like minute of it yeah. is well, a bit longer, and then they sort of did this thing, and then they cut a lot of it out, but actually most of it, I guess, 10 minutes of it stayed, but they sort of added their own sound effects and cut bits, bits out, which probably made it better, Yeah, <laughs> actually, but we're going to watch the original, this, the original. This never cut. would have gone out as is. This is like the first cut, so... It, if we had have gone and edited it ourselves rather than giving it to Game Grumps, it would have been cut down more. So this is still rough. Yeah. But and it's also, stuff that you haven't seen before. Uh, there may be a link. If you stay tuned later, there might, we might talk a little bit about Shadow of Um So we're going to watch this, and then we're going to um, have a little break, and then we're going to talk a bit more about stuff, and then we're going to watch an old Minecraft that never went out, and then we're going to at the very end of the stream, maybe we'll show and talk about a little bit of Shadow of the Spill stuff that never went out. Um, oh my god. But yeah, alright, you ready? Okay, let's do it. When Frontier Development approached us about doing a Game Grumps and Yogg's Cast collaboration to help promote their new game, Jurassic World Evolution, we thought, hang on a second, this could be an amazing opportunity to pay homage or just wholeheartedly rip off one of our favourite British TV cooking shows. Now, obviously, for legal reasons, we're going to have to change the name and also try and make it sound a bit more dinosaur-y. So welcome to the Jurassic Make-Off. I did make-off, yeah, I did make-off? Did I say make? Yeah, good, good. I keep saying the other one. One take curves. That's Aaron, I'm Dan. We do a show called Game Grumps. It's a, sh it's a show. Hi, I'm Lewis from the Yogg's Cast. I'm a professional pastry chef and baker. I actually make a lip. no, I'm not, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I play games and eat things out of the microwave. Hi, I'm Sips from the Yogg's Cast. Also, I eat things from the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were on a flight for 12 hours and then we drove for two hours, yeah. and then I slept for half an hour, and now we're here, in England. Across the next four episodes, we're going to see a series of challenges that are going to test their creativity, their cooking ability, and their dinosaur knowledge. In other words, they're fucked. So, helping us decide which team shits out the best thing over the next few cooking and crafting challenges, we've got two experts on hand to help us. From Sorted Food, we've got their professional chef, Ben Everill. Someone in chats thought this was you earlier. Really, Ben? <laughs> Can you see the resemblance? I wish I could cook like that. From the Bristol Dinosaur Project, we've got Reese Charles. Reese was uh, the only one available. <laughs> so both ex <laughs> but and Reece was great. in their field. He was alright. Like me, really. It was nice because he was young. Like yeah. everyone else was a very old man. And yeah, so we he were looking fit like in a bit better actually. Everyone. He understood a bit more about what was going on. He was a bit more game for a lot of stuff. He was, actually. He was a very good sport. Outstanding in a f field. So when you edited this, did you know this would be on Game Grumps? I'm channel? super excited. Uh, yeah. So did you so sort of tailor it towards a more of non yours cast audience? No, no. I just... what My, my idea behind it was we're going to make something that looks and feels like Great British Bake Off, but because it's you guys in it, that, that's going to be the, the contrast and that's going to be the joke is you guys not taking it seriously, but we're, as the makers of it, taking it very seriously. Right. So that's why I felt like, you know, these we'd have the shots that you have in Bake Off, but you're messing around. And to me, that's what the joke was. Right. Was it's treated like Bake Off, but you guys are not taking it seriously at all. Um, so I edited it as if I was editing, uh, trying to get it as close to like Bake Off as possible. Yeah, I think that's... I've like, always seen uh, myself as a culinary scientist. You know, I've always wanted to be those guys in Jurassic Park making the embryos, taking the, the little bugs out the of amber yeah. and 
putting the making it into a delicious omelet. Yeah. That's gonna be our signature dish today. Mosquitoes in embryos. <laughs> <laughs> Zips just <laughs> Zips just has to smile at me and I laugh, honestly. I'm so charmed yeah. by him. I make a mean frozen dinner. <laughs> nice. I like Cheerios. I pour Cheerios into a bowl. Are we too far from the camera right now? No, oh, this is this is my vision. Don't ruin this for me. Okay, dude. All right. We're going inside. We're going inside. So this was a tent from the actual people who do the tent for the bake off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I did a cartwheel there. You did. But it got I cut. It was <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Because Sips didn't do it, and it was like, I think it's best just to leave it. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Right. okay Punish okay, me. Okay, chill out. Punish me. <laughs> All right, relax, relax. But see, I like the kind of relaxed sort of, you know, bouncy feel. Right. Exciting times, guys. Challenge number one. Now, obviously, dinosaurs were cool. We all know that, OK? But some of the coolest dinosaurs <laughs> were called sauropods. Am I saying that right? Sauropods? Sauropods are long-necked dinosaurs. And the longest neck on a dinosaur belonged to a Mementiosaurus, whose neck was, in theory, you bought, like, 18 yeah, metres long in length. You're looking pretty Ish. <laughs> That's nine times the length of a giraffe's neck. That's a long neck. So what we're asking you guys to do today is to create a cake in the shape of a sauropod. We want just the neck up. We Even the Aaron's or your standing cake that's going to be judged on how tall it is and how much like a dinosaur it looks like. And then I guess tasty. Well, we would hope so. Okay, guys. So you're going to have one hour and thirty minutes in which to do this challenge. And uh, uh, Game Grumps, if you uh, maybe want to put your shirts back on as well. Us. What top tier joke that was? I loved it. Um, oh. How are we going to make an 80 meter kick? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the challenge, Sims. We've got How? stuff. Look, there's oh. hats. So we need four free range eggs. Four free range eggs. Can you juggle? Of course I can juggle. Oh, uh huh. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's. let's Milk just... chocolate. Thank you. Let's discuss the big. Don't worry about any of this extra stuff. We need Check. butter. Is there butter? Man, you know what? I know what the people want. I know what the people want. What do they want, Sips? They want some of this. They want some of this stuff, don't they? Do you know you can't break an egg? Like, <laughs> yeah, just I by can. squeezing? Really? No, no, by squeezing it. By squeezing. Oh, oh, oh. Like, if you, like, oh, shh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Okay, let's talk big picture, right? What does a dinosaur look like, Sips? See, I'm, I'm like, I, I, my attitude towards these challenges has always been try hard the fuck outfit. Just try and, like, seriously, take it as serious as I can and do my yeah. best. Yeah. Because however hard I try, I'll never make anything any <laughs> yeah. good. There's never been once in any of these challenges where I've come out thinking, I worked hard on this and made an amazing thing. I'm proud of myself. Whereas Game Grumps were just like, we're not even going to attempt to make anything. It's, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> it's madness. And Sips, Sips would normally be on that side, right? So I had to like try and wrangle Sips back into mm. being a tryhard. He kind um, of did. Well, the, yeah, he does it in a different way, like dip. with his sugar face thing, and yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. He makes something, but with the least effort possible. Right, like they that. don't all have spikes. Though. Is, that, is that what we're doing? <laughs> we can't make a cake that looks never like filmed that. You draw what you think we should do is for this cake. Okay, here, look. We need to sharp. This is the plate. There's all the sugar. <laughs> okay, and then some eyes. Some googly eyes. I'm trying to figure and out then with how, some much, icing, how many ingredients to buy to make these cakes. Just, just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ended like, up saying, I think you bought like we, fucking. Because the thing is, I knew that things were going to get thrown. Because the thing is, you've got to imagine before this video is made, all I can do is run through in my head trying to imagine what is going to happen. And nothing exists yet. So it's trying to think, okay, so we've got enough. We, they need to make a tower of cakes as tall as possible. You've only got, you've got like an hour and a half, two hours, so you can make maybe three or maybe six cakes if you can fit two cakes in the oven, mm. maybe four cakes. But I know things are going to go all over the place. You're going to mess up, things are going to go wrong. So we got enough to make 50 cakes. So it's like we had just chocked full of stuff, 50 cakes, and then enough to make 50 cakes out of cake mix as well on top of that. So we could have made 100 cakes that day. 
I think no. I think like people in chat are like confused what, about what I mean. I, what what I meant by these guys was not that not that they're. It's like it's like a different thing, right? If we both if we were both chaos, there wouldn't be any. Oh, you needed the contrast. You do need like one. You do like like different uh, different approaches to things, right? Yeah. Well, like, the thing is, these guys were making a uh, ten minute power hour. Uh, this is because that on their channel, that's what it is: is a ten minute power hour episode, and that is this kind of style, where it's mess around and see what happens. I I I, I feel like it's it's great. <laughs> we'll though. deal with like, it later. It's, it's not, it's I think it's great. It's fine. Right. It does not look good back here. Like right from the start, though, like four minutes in, they've already got yeah fucking broken eggs all over the floor, and what is like water Perfect. dripping off? It's taken shape. Perfect. <laughs> hey, we're done. It's a wrap. <laughs> I mean, the thing about that is, like, you have to make a, a dinosaur with the tallest neck. That thing doesn't have... What, your sugar It's face? like the shortest neck. What? Do you imagine? Like, a, like uh, the, yeah, the sugar The face. sugar face, yeah, yeah, yeah. No neck. How did that... It didn't have a neck. No, Is there any no. sorts of textures or colours that we think uh, a Mementiosaurus or a sauropod might have had on the on the outside. These aren't the dinosaurs with feathers. These are big. These are scaly dinosaurs. The classic reptilian kind of look. Are there going to be any kind of common mistakes they might make? All we're looking for is a classic sponge done well. And if it's light enough, they should be able to build layers and layers and layers, and it won't squash. The great thing about a perfect Victoria sponge is I feel like you need this stuff, and you've obviously tried to make it as short as possible. It's a simple ratio yeah. for. I think this is in the Game Grumps one still. Basic ingredients: butter, sugar flour and eggs. There's not many places you can go wrong. How many ounces are in a liter? It's probably one liter. Is that eight ounces? Man, Just American a little more. Is that eight ounces? More! Around. It's a cake, it needs to be sweet. That's perfect. That, is, <laughs> that looks like more, all right. That's it says plus a little extra for dusting the finished cake. Cool. Perfect. How many ounces are in a pound six? 225 grams. Look, you have to be very precise when you're measuring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's perfect. Cool. That's a lot of sugar. Are you sure that's right? Yeah. We're going to be using that later for the second cake. Yeah, we don't like to waste food. That's right. We're if not you... food wasters. Okay. So one tablespoon. <laughs> Are you sure about eight eggs? You added that. Yes, sips. Just so did you try and make it Game Grumps style by adding stuff like that? A little bit, yeah. I probably I might not have added that to ours. I think I, I was I, looking for some yeah opportunities to maybe do that. I thought what I thought is they'd take this and add lots there of There was a version I saw of this where you added a load of sound effects. Yeah, I tried adding sound effects like, and I didn't and, yeah, no. and weird stuff. And then that I was like, oh I like this. And then I, I you showed it to me the next day and then all the sound effects were gone. And I was like, what happened? You're like, oh, no, I just took all the sound effects out. I don't like it anymore. Don't like it. I spent ages putting them in. Now I just took them all out again. <laughs> you got to try these things. Goodness Eight sake. eggs. I, don't, I think this probably needs one more egg. Eight ounces of butter at room temperature. Eight ounces of butter. Eight ounces of butter. Where the fuck is the butter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling. I'm sorry for yelling. It's OK, Dan. This is a competition. It's going to get heated. I can't find butter, dude. Why not? I don't know. I'm freaking out. Where's the butter? They're actually they actually just finding the butter for us. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what kind of operation is this? Operation? All right, we're fine. We're fine. Hey, look at theirs. is all goopy already. Yeah, yeah we got cake yeah. batter. Jealous? What I do you am, think? Actually, that's so really goopy. It's and easy a little to get sprinkle. One thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very magic. necessary. <laughs> da, 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 da. The more you know. Well, you put it in. <laughs> Did that get cut? I don't I know. Think they did a version of that, but they used like mine as a basic thing. I think it's still in the game. Pop it in or something. Then you press the button. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll let you do that. <laughs> there we go, Lewis. Look at this. Shit, they're already using their mixer. There we go. It's just one tin. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just spread that all around. Did you wash your hands? Do we have any oh, what are you doing? Look at this. This is so much easier. I don't even need to use any hands. All right, so we got some cake batter in here. Where's yep. the second tin? Right here. Perfect. Oh, it's like a layered cake. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> it's beautiful. We got a little extra too, so you can do the, you can you can do the like the like. Hey kids, we, I got a little cake batter left. Lick the spoon, and then you're like, ah, oh, Aaron, there's raw eggs. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, 
<laughs> oh, it was delicious. <laughs> okay, that's ready, Lewis. You're doing another one. We're going to make just as much as we possibly can, and we're going to have so many cakes that it doesn't matter. We'll just have the tallest pile of cakes. If you want to make it fancy, like, like some kind of fancy mm -hmm. treats, just crack a little egg right on top. Boom. For taste. This cost me eight quid. <laughs> Oh, with the butter. Oh, the butter's oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Tups went up to the kitchen in the Ashton Court. We, we were filming it in Ashton Court, which is like a stately home kind of thing. Went up to the kitchen and bought the little packs of butter off the chefs there for eight quid. Because <laughs> we didn't have any butter. <sighs> so while someone was running around to Asda to get butter, he got, he got these little sachets of butter. You are joking me. There you go. It's all you part are of the challenge. It's me. part of a challenge. But how are we going to... What, are you mad? How is this going to work? No, no. This, is taking, this is taking way too long. Just no, 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 no. Aaron, Aaron! When it cooks, it's going to melt out, so then we just pick them out of the, the cake. <laughs> You're actually right. You're actually right. Let's weigh it. Seven grams, yeah. Amazing. How much do we need? 225. Oh, my God. Times four. I need a kilo of butter, so seven grams per... Tiny pack, tiny one. That means I need approximately a hundred. And now <laughs> we bake. Whoops. <laughs> so can you guys talk us through what you're what you're doing? How you how you're approaching this challenge? Basically, Whip Sip sort of has already oh, wow. created yeah. okay. some terrific Is this the face? masterpiece. Is yeah, this a dinosaur? <laughs> 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 I'm really getting into this. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Around a hundred. Seven times a hundred equals a thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll leave you to carry on. You've got about an hour left. Well, if you get some motherfucking butter, yeah, okay. we'll actually be able to do it. OK, well, you've got some butter now, OK? Well, I can't so, well we will leave with you to carry on and let's see how the other guys are getting on. That's actually... It doesn't sound so bad now, a hundred of those. Hmm. Probably could have done it. Probably could have done it. But, oh, my God, we're on, like, a timer. We've got, like, ten minutes. Yeah, not long. It was a genuine timer as well. It yeah, was like, yeah. You know, well, especially since Gang Grunts have basically put theirs in the oven and finished yeah, yeah, yeah. And I <laughs> haven't started opening yeah, the butter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> in the meantime, we're going to get our frosting ready. The accoutrements. Yeah. Okay, so you put it put it in there. Yeah. Okay. So S slide it out. Throw that frosting in. Boom. Okay, we can throw some eggs in there, oh, I think. Boy, that's really We have there. plenty of eggs. That's why they gave it to us, because it goes good in everything. Does, does, does this top come I off? I feel like you yeah. guys are ahead of the game, because your cake's in the oven. Twist. Hell yeah, we're ahead of the game. No, okay. not the whole okay. egg, Aaron. What are you, insane? What, half the egg? <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> you should have... Okay. <laughs> So you guys gonna eat this with us? Yeah, of what? course. Oh yeah, well the thing is like, people usually make cakes like sort of by the book and I was thinking like, I, I kind of never like cakes because they're like not sweet enough for me. So we decided to, to add in a little more sweetness by throwing in some like, some more sugar and some more icing. And... We got brown frosting. That's perfect, throw that in. Is that enough mix for 80 meters? 80 meters, well. <laughs> it's getting close. <laughs> it's gonna be a very skinny cake. We're playing the fuck along. <laughs> Oh, it's going. It's going. That, that should be good. I mean, I th yeah, it's yeah it's got, it got good. enough of everything. It's probably good. Just pour and that. Just pour let that the flavor just fall right into in. it. Oh! I feel like that is the worst thing to do I've ever seen in my fucking life. What are you doing? Melting butter. Don't just melt butter in a fucking metal tray, you nutcase. <gasps> the butter's here. Oh, okay, that's real take butter. that off, take that off. Do we actually have any, any sort of pan or anything? Yeah, we do. Look at that. A butter pan. pan in here. So we need three of these. Three! Well, four, actually. <laughs> Plus the ones I've used. <laughs> he wants to use four butters. <laughs> mm. I feel like we should cut these up a bit before we try and melt them down. Of course, this is this Okay, is this looks fucking perfect, Sips. Great job. <laughs> Great fucking job. <laughs> this, I really I think, think we, we need to, a bigger bowl. This is where I slice myself. Oh, God. Oh. Slightly less. It's butter from this no, one. So. Oh, that's it. It was it happened so quickly because yeah. it stuck with the knife and I wanted to like just pull it off. Just but it just slipped. Yeesh. That was the oh, worst injury in the day though, which is quite good. That's we were quite lucky cut his that fingers. No got worse. First aid, we need first aid. That's it, that's first blood. This is sis. dying. First oh, blood. Christ. Oh blimey, we do, okay. It's, I'm bleeding on here now. Oh, oh my god. Kitchen. I have to Oh that was rough, that was rough. Because <laughs> it was on my 
It was on my right hand as well, I think. Oh, your left oh no, it was on my left <laughs> hand. Keep stirring. <laughs> have you been tested? I can't even, I can't even what do you mean I can tested? see? I can see it's on well, my what left if hand. you have the HIV? What do you mean, what if I have the HIV? That's not the concern. Right, put the rest of the butter in That's here. That's my concern. Come on, Sips, put the rest of the butter in here. Come on, okay. I'm still trying to like, make a cake. I think it's like, because Game Grunts are done and they fucked off. Yeah, you're focused. I'm like, are we, you're, you guys are like, come on, we're we supposed to end this. And I'm like, we haven't, we can't, yeah. can't, can't just be given like the ingredients. No. This, this is probably too much, but this is what we're doing, all right? Oh my God. Through blood, sweat and tears, right. Zips, we're going to make these cakes and Jesus. they're going to be fucking amazing. And chocolate beans? Yes, please. <laughs> I can't remember if I stopped putting Fine. music in at this point. This might, because there's no music there's now. There's no music. I'm wondering whether it was like I did the first 10 minutes to show the kind of style and then didn't put any more in. Probably. So we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Everything's good. Yeah. Nothing like this has ever okay, been shown go. on the BBC. <laughs> I think we're done. I think our cake is probably I, finished. Yeah, I feel like it's been uh, at least 10 minutes. Look wow. at that. Wow. That's looking like a meringue right, right? now. Right? Right? Dang, now that's good stuff. I'm gonna be honest, it smells almost nothing like a cake. But but it's gonna taste it's like It's gonna taste like heaven. heaven. Oh god. All right. Well, oh, oh, it's a little sweat. liquidy. It's stuck okay, it's still a little right? liquidy. Is it hot? Is it hot? Perfect. Weird Perfect. Cake. Now that is something special. Now you're gonna want to gently ladle the frosting. So wow, there's actually a lot of resistance. There we go. Now that's good. There was someone was just asking about cleaning up, which was the worst because we didn't have a working sink. We didn't have any water, so it was it was all the bottled runners water. Me, with bottled water and kitchen roll, just like wiping it down and who just sweeping. Oh, it was it was a mess. Yeah, it, it was it, horrible. Because we really needed, needed to some sink. of the same kit again. That's the, the other thing. Day. Yeah, yeah, because we were cooking again later. Fucking hell. Do you remember Daft did like a sh really terrible behind the scenes edit on this? Well, it was fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> what? It was, it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a very strange behind the scenes edit because he filmed a lot of behind the scenes stuff that wasn't really. It was definitely very behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it was it was a hard day because pe everyone was so busy. No one was free to just chat. So you know, on the scum vlog thing that we did recently, where we went on the shoot with Hat Films, we were able to mess around loads. Mm. And this was everyone was very focused and trying to busy. get it done. And even Daff, like Daff, ended up cleaning up a lot of the mess as well. And he was supposed to be filming behind the scenes, but he pitched in and right. helped clean. Daff's a good boy. You know it's good because it's spilling out the sides with flavor. Let's personalize this a little bit. Okay. Let's write Jurassic. <laughs> Jurassic <laughs> World. Get your hero shot right now, folks, before it gets gobbled up. <laughs> so this has been out of the oven yeah, but it is before escape. we've even started out. Yeah. Ours is not okay. All right, either. let's... Let's serve it up, dude. Well, <laughs> cut me two slices, please. Uh, uh -huh. Could you get me a server, like, yes. a, like a plate? Of course. Do we not have any plates? Do we not have any plates? How are we going to serve it up if there's no plates? All right. We'll, we'll, get, we'll put it we'll on use that. We'll use that as a plate. Yes. That's how you serve it at a party. You put it on a napkin. Yeah. A little fun fact. Now let's grab a nice heap and piece. Mmm. Do you want extra? Yes, please. It's like cheese. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna take, you know what? I'm gonna make a slice for myself. Nope. All right. Do we have a fork? Oh, um, here, use scissors. Bottoms up. <laughs> wait, wait, Aaron. What? <laughs> you forgot the rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> Silly I always ears. forget the rainbow sprinkles. That's, okay. just, that's what they call me. Rainbow sprinkle forgetter. All right. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. A couple more bigger rainbow sprinkles. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Jimmy style rainbow sprinkles. Yep. Real New England classic. All wait, right. wait, wait. Yellow. All right. Here and we go. in that time, they brought us forks. Wow. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I don't need to eat it with, a, with, with uh, scissors anymore. All right, bottoms up. <laughs> oh, God. A 
So normally people might cut as he put it in his mouth, you know. But no. <laughs> this is the this is the Tom Bates okay, Aaron's, classic. Aaron edit. just had a nice delicious bite and he's going Maybe to take a little walk. It's like gonna... a... <laughs> it's like a oh yeah, I don't know whether we should because he's a kid. I don't know if we should skip through it. It's like a family. So I think we blurred what, out. What? 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 But well, I'm going to skip it because we're showing a kid's face. Maybe. Oh, they can't see who that yeah. is from there. It's but fine. he turns. Can you get a later. shot of the children being dis? Oh, you see. We, Fuck. We, so maybe we should fast forward this. Can you bit. get a shot of the children? We would have. We would have right. blurred that. Oh my god. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> Before we prevent our cake, I think we should make a few modifications. Wait, prevent? Present. Present. Okay, cool. Did I say prevent? Okay, so we will be uh, right back. We're going to make some last, last minute modifications. And uh, we'll, we'll see you in a Jurassic Park evolution. <sighs> yeah, just one, just one cake, like a, like a fully made cake. What, whatever you got. Yeah, it's, well, I don't care. I don't care. It's whatever you have. Just tell her to deal with it. All right, fine. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Just cut that out. Yeah, cut that out. These guys are relaxed. It's nice edit. <laughs> oh, the cake's done. Sips, the cake's done. Oh, oh, oh boy. Shit. They're so looking this was after the lunch break or whatever. Yeah, we Plastic. left the cakes in for a bit. One. That one has sagged massively in the this... middle when you put it down. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh, oh god. <laughs> that, that's not ready. That does not look like a good cake. No. However, however, this one. Though, that's looking all right. Mm -hmm. It looks perfect. Oh shit! Yes. Cool. Me, you can hear me yeah, yeah. In the background. That's the big thing about these edits is obviously there's two things going on at once. So trying to balance the two because mm. obviously there's moments where they're talking and, and you're not and you're talking and they're not and trying to get it all to balance together is quite yeah. quite tricky it is. Well, well, the, the first cut of this was well over an hour long so it was like once I because you bake for probably two hours that means you've got four hours of footage because it's two teams so cut those together like over an hour and then I have to go through and just chop and chop and chop, and chop oh I see because you're basically just copying every time you're like yeah, and trying to match it up. So if you two ever interact, whenever the teams interact with each other, those are the points where everything before that needs to have happened to lead up to oh, that I point, see. if that makes sense. Yes. So I can't move anything from after that before so like, it. Yeah. So there are these points where you come together that I have to make sure I've edited up to. I see. Okay. And that's why, because I think Game Grubs finished their cake super early. We yeah. couldn't like... Because we had interactions, we couldn't just pretend that they were taking as long as we were. Yeah, yeah. So let's say Game Grumps finished 20 minutes early. It's like trying to then... It's trying to extend the... Let's say Game Grumps bake for 10 minutes and you bake for 30 minutes. It would be trying to extend that 10 minutes so that it looks kind of even between the two. I see. You can't right. have them do it. You can't have just you for 20 minutes of stuff, you know? Yeah. Just trying oh, to this is awesome. Support. Thank you. Thank you. Does that say happy birthday, Ashley? Yeah, well, I mean, it's all they had, so... Okay. We'll all just right. have to make two. You know, it's fine. It's fine. So, you are going to make it into a dinosaur shape. You can use these sticks. I'll get some icing sorted, and then we'll ice it and decorate it, okay? Okay. It does say, happy birthday, Ashley, but that's all part of our thing, because it's actually... Ashley... Saurus. Whoops. Squeeze out a little. That's perfect. There we all right, go. and we have Happy to make birthday, it. Actually, so we nice. have to make it tall like a megalosaurus. Oh so. right. No. Did that it's get cut? Bit... Did that get cut from the original? I don't remember yeah. seeing that. Them no. sticking a fucking roll of Oreos. They must have done because then that then that cake they they flip that cake on the floor. Also, that feels like product placement with those fucking Oreos. Maybe. Doesn't yeah, it? Do you know what I mean? We the didn't middle. cover up any of the. Well, logos. we can cut around that though. We can use these bits. <laughs> This is also an example of you guys doing a lot more than them. You see, whenever we cut back to them, it's, they've done about one minute, where it's like, they've got the cake out of the wrapper, they've stuck an Oreo thing in it, they cover it with something else, and they flip it. Over. And then they're done. However, you guys are going for 10 minutes of baking, and it's cutting those two together. I see. So you're making loads more progress, and they're making very small amounts of progress. Right. They're making small amounts of funny progress. And exactly. We're making... So it's, 
long amount of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what all the pro chefs do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we, <laughs> and wait, and oh, there's an eye, and there's another eye. That's perfect. I mean, it looks like a, it's perfect. It, it looks perfect. just like a megalosaurus. Whoa! Shit! Shit! So I was thinking of like just doing like a s'mores thing okay. in the oven, sure. real quick, and then just pouring that just a on s'mores. The top. Uh, you're gonna do a s'mores thing, okay? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me take. This. Shit! No. Mm. Wait. If we just get shit, you can't just shit. grab no, cake like that. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously all right. Well, we don't want the middle bit. Do it's we? Still, no, so done right, well, just cut around it. Enough. What kind of shape do you want for this dinosaur? Just squares, little squares, and then we'll stack them all up. We'll win the height challenge. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just another one. Okay. I know that was, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Yes, fast, please. Oh, God. <laughs> that's very, very wet there. It's very, very soggy in the middle. Look at oh, that, okay, though. Look yeah. at that, actually. That's perfect. I feel like we could just win with just that bit, you know? That's a really good bit. Yes, thank, thank you, you so you, much. You are a You're awesome. You are the best. Now, this is a nice one. <laughs> this is our cake. <laughs> cake. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We should just so. So I don't really remember what happened with these cakes. Did they, did they, were they like backup cakes? Like, what was the deal with they, them? Did they that, know about them? Sent like, someone out we had to send them. someone out. Yeah. And they came back with two, did they? Yeah. And yeah. then, so Game Works were like, okay, we can fuck one of them up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then present the other one. All right. Oh. <laughs> and done. Wow. I mean, could you get a more beautiful cake than that? Okay, teams, we got five minutes to finish your cakes. This is, this is like the spiral for, for skyscraper. As usual. Hey? Just accidentally, casually making a cock and ball, just <laughs> as usual. Yes. It can be technically taller if it has a spire. Okay, now okay, we I like that. We just need some icing now. Okay, give, give me the green color. Oh, that's very green. Yeah, perfect. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, it's too heavy. Shit, it's heavy, yeah. <laughs> So you see, it this, doesn't go anywhere <laughs> long as far as we expect it to. In this whole time, you've, <laughs> you've cut up, built an iced a cake, and they've built a spire out of two wood sticks. That's, again, an example of the cutting. Yeah. yeah. We need to really make it look like a dinosaur. Okay. How's that look? It's alive! Oh. That looks good. But I make the smalls, but then it's like Perfect. so weird when you put it on. Now it's like a bird. It can see in both directions. Yeah, like a chameleon. Take a picture quick before it falls over. Oh, America. The America source. The freedom source. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that's we it. Make... Time up. Try Tools our best. Down. I think we're done. That's see, in my dream, like, you know, we mixed that icing and I thought pouring it on would be this lovely, even mm. green coat. And I thought the brown would be like a lovely, soft brown coat. And look at that. <laughs> it just looks like fucking shit. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Done. If it stands yeah, for three it, seconds, then that means it's done. It's done. It's gorgeous. We multiplied all of the ingredients because of the volume. Four times. Four times. I remember doing these shots for ages. Like, Quite well, I don't, yeah. like 10 minutes of these shots, just slowly getting I just ask it, well, well, dumber I, and dumber. I just thought I need to ask a bunch of questions and just see what happens. So most of it obviously gets cut, but yeah. After every challenge, like, uh, was it two times every challenge I took you out and talked to you? Just to see what... And I assume, my, I assume you've asked me a bunch of questions and that one of the questions I've smeared this on my face previously. Like, there was some yeah. reason why I did that. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. Some why, reason why that's there. Yeah, I can't remember now, though. Uh, <laughs> four times. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> I know. I know. It's, like, it's like a dad. Just being like, just used to his kids, like just yeah, putting just putting it. ice cream on his face. You know, it's like he's happened to him so much. He's just, he knows, he's just not bothered by the it. The resignation. You were like, he's going to put frosting on my face. Do not. I, it's, it's happening right now. <laughs> Don't do it. I, love it. I, I, love, I just want I you to think that it's... I love, I just, I'm so, look at me. I just love him so much. It's going to happen. Dude. Please don't. You don't? No? I know. Oh, man, I love this. It's great. Good fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just such a Sips fanboy. Uh. Don't forget.
Now, I think this got cut in the Game Grumps version. But I, they sing the national anthem and I did a full thing, Shutterstock images and all that with it. Oh. And I think a bit of it was left in the Grumps one, but this is a longer version with music and stuff. We did this for America. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, grain. For, for purple mountains' majesty, above the fruited plains. America, America, God shed his grace on thee or him or her. And now thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Yeah, I lost the note because you tried to harmonize. Sea, 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 sea. sea. We almost sea. got it. Sea. There it is. Anyway, what's the next question? Okay, teams. Congratulations on completing the first challenge. Obviously, we now need to judge your efforts. Yogscast, if you'd like to bring your cake to the gingham table. So, can we present the Shittosaurus and its little baby as an addition, <laughs> a little baby Shittosaurus? I forgot I made an additional one with the extra bits of yeah. shit cake we had left over. There you wow, go. okay. There you go. We've made a little extra one Tuck while we were waiting guys. to get started. Look at that. See, we had enough cake to make cake for everyone. Could you talk us through what you've created here? So, oh, wow, back yeah. in the early it's Jurassic really cool. period, so there, was that one too. Uh, there was a rare form of, of dinosaur. Yet, it's yet to be undiscovered, but we've heard rumours of its deliciousness and healthiness for you to enjoy. Right. So, if, if we're going to talk about <laughs> authenticity behind the... I feel like the, I'm the, slowly the... turning into <laughs> sips with some of the stuff. You know, the more time you sort of spend with certain people, the more you start yet to be undiscovered. <laughs> Shapes they've constructed. How Mementiosaurus sauropod are we looking at here? Well, we've got a neck, we've got a head, got a body. So, basic. He knows his stuff. <laughs> this guy's really smart. <laughs> <laughs> I was brought along here to judge the proper scientific accuracy, the nitty gritty, and. Right. I can't say I've seen a dinosaur that looks like this before. Ben, what are we looking at in terms of, of, of cakes here? What do you think? You did bake a sponge. You have made a version of a chocolate marshmallow frosting and you've iced it. Thank it's you. all there. Right. In it's some so form <laughs> or other. Oh, I think this is a bit I'm scared of. I'm holding a fork. Oh, we no. suggest I have to taste it. Oh, don't. Would you recommend a, a specific area of the dinosaur that you think I is strongest? I stay away from the butt. I, I think yes, the, 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 black. Yeah, the, sa the safest part is probably the chocolate and marshmallows because there's no egg in there. <laughs> Okay, right. Oh, God. Well, he's going, going for the I'm front. Going in for front. the sponge. The front, the front foot. If we're here to judge the food, look at the sponge. Oh God. Oh, look at that consistency. Look, it's very springy. Ooh. Ooh. Still slightly warm. That's the salmonella. <laughs> look at its way. Buttery, golden. Do you know what? That bit of the sponge is not bad. I know you had almost molten lava cake effect That's, in the middle. It's basically the drumstick that you just had. So but yeah. this bit, For a bit off the side. is actually cake. You guys oh are going to be in the hospital tonight. I would not eat that. Those parts that you presented, that's almost cake. That's fantastic. Well, <laughs> guys, if you'd like no. to uh, take that back to your cooking station. <laughs> Do we have to? And we'll see, yeah, and we'll see if hopefully it makes it back in one piece. And then we'll see what the, uh, the Game Grumps have managed to achieve in the same time period. Almost cake. Thanks, thank, no, thank thanks you. so much. Thank you, Team Yoska. Thank you so was, much. Um, Game Grumps, if you'd like to bring your creation up to the table. And done. This is uh, something else. Um, thank guys, you. would you like to talk us through what you've created? Sure, this is the Democrosaurus. Mm. Uh, it, it's, it, it eats freedom. Mm. Well, and then, it, and then it farts out more freedom. Mm -hmm. it, it creates a byproduct of. Like a perpetual free yeah, freedom. Yeah. Well, it only yeah. creates more. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is beautiful. Thank um, you. We definitely made it. So, yeah. okay, from a, from a dinosaur perspective, what, what you're seeing here, like, did Look you at the see... Height. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely the tallest. More like this? I have spent many years studying dinosaurs. I can honestly say I've never seen one look quite like this before. Well, well here's the thing. This dinosaur originally was discovered by a paleontologist, Elizabeth? Maybe you've heard of her. Queen Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Don't see you. <laughs> so, me and Sips were obviously watching this. We just couldn't, we obviously couldn't contain ourselves any longer. It's a shame we didn't have enough cameras to film you as well. I know, but like in a sense, you just like hear you off giggling off screen. Like, well, the thing is, like a couple of other people, like we were around, like snorted in the background and stuff. Yeah. I just thought this was a very funny moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Again, obviously, it just sets us off. They're so good, these guys. They were so nice. I see enough of this. <laughs> And then these guys are struggling to hold it together as well. And Reese is like, not, not being swayed not, not yeah. at all. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, um, if you don't like the cake, you know, it's, it's not going to hurt us. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sets Reese off a little bit when yeah. he sees the knife there. Well, we told them, it could hurt others. Um, we told the two judges to just play it as straight as possible. Right. Because otherwise, if they tried to get in on the silliness, it might get too silly. So it was just judge, judge it seriously. Judge it as a chef and a dinosaur expert. So yeah. Oh. It hey guys. Thank you. Really, Thank really you. Dinosaur. Thank you. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. That's Agreed. Like, that, that's like lovely. From a, from a baking perspective, Ben, have you got anything you'd read from that? I think it's a miracle that that arrived <laughs> after <laughs> some of the methods we saw earlier, but it looks beautiful. The end result is all that matters. Well, let's find out, because there is actually one thing more important, which is obviously the taste. Oh, I of mean, course. it tastes so, like a professionally made cake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling. That's what happens well, when... When did you guys make the jam? Mm. Oh, uh, yesterday. Yeah. It, it takes, like, a day to... Yeah, we flew over with it. Yeah. Oh, that's a, a buttercream in that as well. Very rich. Mm. Thank very you. Very rich. Yeah. You're going to be very rich. Mm. That's a great cake. <laughs> that... I was going for a second. That... Yeah. ...is a great cake. Thank, yeah, thank it you. It is, isn't it? Thank you. Looks great. Thank you. Now, obviously, in terms of height, it does appear like this is the taller of the two structures. Wow, how about that? Mm -hmm. Taller than... So that's that definitely weird. factoring in. How edible is the neck? Do you want to try? <laughs> I assure no, you. Oh, yeah, we, We've already had some, guys. You, you help yourselves sure. to the oh, neck. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. But, yeah, that makes... Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good. Oh, yeah. Well, if you ate it all, then I can't Do even... Do you have the head is... Yeah, well, I'm saving it. Oh, okay. And the, uh, the eyes are edible. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> so good. So mm. good. Mm. <laughs> Mallory, that's something. <laughs> right, so wow, fantastic. <laughs> Guys, we've got a lot of deliberation there. If you'd like to take that back to your sure. to your, uh, yeah, workstation. Of course. Sure, mm -hmm. of course. And, um, wow. Yeah. And this is, uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave the crumbs. Yeah, well, let's okay. <laughs> cool. clean that up okay. after us. Okay, well, thank you, guys. I think we're going to go away and deliberate over those two. I think what made it funny was just the the pile of coins as a bribe feels so mm. weird. Like, like, like £3.50, literally just yeah. whatever he had <laughs> in his pocket. Uh, spectacular dinosaur-themed cakes. And uh, we'll come back with our results on who won that challenge. Well, clearly our cake is better. Mm-hmm. It was almost as if it was finally crafted by talented baketicians. Yeah, like us. We definitely crafted it. Do you think it falls within the rules of the challenge itself? Yeah, it's Yeah, tall. it looks like a fucking dinosaur. Yeah. Back off, Tom. It's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, teams. It has not been an easy decision, but when judging these cakes based on the contributions of style, flavour, appearance, dino authenticity, and obviously height. I'm afraid there can only be one winner. It's a very close call, but the winner is the Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I think we can all agree it was a delicious cake. Uh, ben, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, look, both, both were absolutely delicious. Yo, Scott, I feel like 10 more minutes in the oven, and that wobbly bit in the middle, you could have stacked that too and got the height. Otherwise, great effort, so close. And from a dinosaur perspective, Reese, what, what would you like to say? Yeah, I mean, as I said, it doesn't look like any dinosaur I've seen before, but that's the joy of paleontology. There's always more dinosaurs to discover. You never know what you might find. They this might guy, look this like guy that. gets it. That's a good outlook. That's a good outlook. This that's is probably going to be the next dinosaur discovered. Yeah, I've, I've, I feel like it's already I mean, been discovered, but you just haven't heard of it yet, so. So there we go. So thank you very much. Uh, if you would like to clear your workstations, we're going to have another challenge up next where we're going to be testing some other skills. Do it, do it, do it. No, he's No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Good, he's a good... So there we have it. Challenge number one is done. But the competition is just heating up. If you want to see the next challenge, it's over on the Yogscast channel, where you can check that out.
Wait, why aren't there any knock-knock jokes in America? Why? Because freedom rings. I don't want to walk into this grass, it's scary. <laughs> it's too tall. There's probably some British strains of bugs that I... There are ticks in there. Got one on my leg. Just kidding. Amazing, there you go. There we go, extended edition. Extended edition Jurassic Makeoff. 10 extra minutes of just. 10 extra minutes unseen. The lost videos, everyone. That's what you're watching. <gasps> the lost videos coming up after the break. Two episodes of Minecraft from 2013 that no one's ever seen, I think. Let me just check on the YouTuber while we're on a break and see if we have actually seen it. But I don't think so. God knows. And then. Something from Shadow of Israel, but not an actual episode. Just something that was, ama was made. Wow. Something. I'm excited. Stay tuned. See you in five minutes, everyone. Bye. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That. Yogg's cast jingle jam. People raising money for charity. Loads of money gonna hit two million and I'll appreciate that. I appreciate that I have got to think on my feet to think of what I appreciate. 
And it's quite a privilege to think on my feet about the things that I appreciate that. that. I appreciate the chat, chat. the spamming emotes, and we can see all the emotes that they are spamming in the chat. We appreciate that. God, it's really difficult to appreciate things. No, thank you. It's Tumblr for me all the way. Always Tumblr. Looking at some demon dicks all the way. Some hogtied elves give you the corp head. Aliens with tits? Why the fuck not? I'm a pretty weird guy. You better watch out, Bob. I tried all the Twitch streams. They don't get me off. All the normal ports I just make me soft. I'll be squeezing my hog like a little fumbler. I only get my porn from the blood. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Let's go back to the base. That's right. <laughs> that's fine. We can just cut it. It's I want to get fucking high. I'm going to get fucking high. This is bullshit. It's gone from my favorite fucking site. I think we nailed it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got, we got 90% of that. That was it. No, that, that was, was good. good. That, that was, was good. One. That was the one. Baby dick 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 baby dick 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 baby dick 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 baby dick droopy dong 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 droopy dong 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 droopy dong 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 droopy dong chubby cho 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 chubby cho 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 chubby cho 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 chubby cho veiny break 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 veiny break 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 veiny break 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 veiny break Quivering cock 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 quivering cock 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 quivering cock 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 quivering cock Fuck that fuck 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 Well, those more verses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot. Yeah? That's a take. Oh, it sounds like the sleigh. Make it all the way to Christmas. We gotta get there fast. Speed up! Christmas, bitch! 
Christmas, bitch! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Jingle Jam at 2018. Uh, Tom, Almost 2019. You're joining me here. Yes. I am just going to see if I can download this folder of stuff. Secret uh, lost videos, you might say. Yeah. So the great thing about Dropbox is it saves everything. So all this stuff's like super antique stuff. I'm just gonna just gonna get that down there. I don't know how. Else uh, and I'll read donations down. while you're doing that. Hmm. You, did you read the Ian donated a thousand dollars? You read that, didn't you? I don't think so. A thousand. Donate Ian. A thousand. A thousand. Here's to much. a fantastic new year in 2019. Thanks for all the hard work. A thousand dollars. That is amazing. One thousand. Thank you, Ian. That'll go to some amazing causes. Jonas donated 35. He says Happy New Year. Dan B, long-time fan, just glad to finally get some money together to donate. Well done, man. Thank you. Terry Palmer, 500 bucks. Greetings from Australia. Keep up all the great work. Thank you. Rampage Force says, thanks for hosting. Thank you for donating. Milu, donate 35. Rock on, guys. Arnie Olofsson donated seven hundred dollars. These are massive donations. D does this happen all the time? Uh, no, not normally. <laughs> Thanks for a fantastic. Arnie December. Olafsson, seven hundred dollars. Thank you, dude. Your Holy hard shit. work is an inspiration to everyone. Seven hundred dollars, my God. Thank you so much. Mm. Cinderella. Weird this. Hope everyone had a merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Have a wonderful New Year. Thank you. You too. And Unlucky Irish added five bucks to their donation for a total of... Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Jesus Christ, I scared you. I scared you. <laughs> Unlucky Everyone Irish is that? the guy in Guam. Um, oh, did, did anyone hear that? Did, was it just me who heard that? No, oh. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> sorry, was sorry. a really loud oh, noise in my ears sorry. just then. I, Oof. So weird. I don't know if this is it. Oh, that looks... Well, that's our very last secret video. You don't want to show that one yet. Yeah. Sorry. I've, okay. So, um, Unlucky Irish added five bucks to their total of 142. Holy shit. I'm glad I caught this stream. This brings me back to my crappy high school days when the only thing that I'd look forward to was the newest upload on YouTube from you guys and jumping on live with my friends to play Xbox. Thank you for all the memories, guys. Thank you for being here for so long. We love you. Thank you. This is Jockab. Donated 50 bucks. Hello, whoever is streaming. Just wanted to feed my stream library before the offers run out. Great bonus that I can help people in need to. Absolutely. That's what you're doing, guys. You're getting games and you're helping people who are in need. Flying Tiger 5000. Amazing name. 50 bucks. Love the lost video breakdowns. Keep it up. Well, get ready. There's more, there's more lost videos coming. True lost videos. It genuinely was genuinely a, lost. a literal lost video that just never went out. Yeah. From six years ago. Sean Osfox, hey man, finally getting around to doing the, uh, doing a buy. Why are you not cooking a cake on stream? It's Christmas for God's sake! It's too complicated. We did the we did the make off. It was, uh, baking cakes is hard to do on camera. We could do we could do a bake off. We're not going to do it. But it's not We're time. Not, Next Christmas. Not not tomorrow. That's the. <laughs> is there a better version of this anywhere? Jaffa Cree, have you ever completed a Myers Briggs personality test? If so, what type are you? Have you done a Myers-Briggs personality? Yeah, like I was originally like um, INTJ or something, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I was an IN something. I don't, don't really remember. We should release all our Myers-Briggs results, I guess. A Yogscast complete set of results. Adam donated, mm. says thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Jimmy Raybold. Been watching you guys since Survival Island. Lewis, what series are you most proud of? And which fellow Yog are you most proud of? Wishing the Yogs a fantastic 2019. Favourite series? Oh. Hang on, let's just run these. Oh, God. There's deleted files in this thing. I'm going to have to restore some of these files. Wow. Um, okay, this is weird. I'm not sure 
I know what any of this stuff is. Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Let is me... this all really old stuff? Yeah, very old, old stuff. What? Okay. <laughs> it was deleted the 2nd, 15th of February. This one was made, this was deleted on the 25th of June, 2012. Ooh, the company hadn't even been around for, <laughs> been around for months. That's how old that is. The office had been around for months, I mean. Wow. Hmm. I keep, sorry, guys. This is old school stuff. This is like, I'm digging this stuff out of the graveyard, it feels like, right here. I've got a 360p MOV here. Wow. Oh, that's an animatic. Oh, yeah. Okay. This yeah. is... Yeah. This is... This is... Oh, fucking hell. What is this? This is riveting for you guys. This is so weird seeing this stuff. I don't even really know the story behind it. We we I probably shouldn't talk about it until we're actually gonna show it. Yeah. But um I assume we're supposed to watch this one. But this looks Yeah, that it looks more final, but it's certainly like still a work in progress. It's certainly not as like it's it's more final, but it's still like super super rough. Okay, sure. Well, let's well, let's watch the, the the Minecraft ones. So, okay, so everyone, you might remember back in the day. First of all, the original lost video, which genu the, the the original lost thing, which genuinely is lost and remains lost, and I can't find it anywhere, is the original Yogpod. So there was a one Yogpod before the Yogpod really? where we did a test Yogpod. God, and that I remember doing it. I remember having it like a year after on my computer and it's gone. It's it's lost. It's permanently lost. There's no way we're getting back the the original York pod. Okay, just I'm and this isn't this isn't me we but I found it. No, that's not <laughs> it. It's gone. It's definitely gone. Um, and then obviously we did a whole shitload of, of Minecraft series, right? I mean we did like so many adventure maps. And you guys probably haven't like seen half of those, but maybe you have. Maybe you watched back when we were playing all these Minecraft adventure maps. Um, but we did like, do you remember we did loads of them? There's like a whole fucking playlist of them. Um, and like, look at this, like right here, there's like fucking um, Platatoids, Star Trek, Custom Map, Four Towers, Press of Griswold, The Crevice. You guys remember all this shit, right? Like The Crevice. Like it was um, and so, like, you know, this was from 2011. 2011. So this is quite old, right? And then we, we went on after that and we did, like, um, The Journey, Tree of Life, S Super Hostile, Canopy Carnage, Professor Griswold. I think Sunny Springs was the first Yogg's video I ever watched. Sunny, the Curse of Sunny Springs. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first one you Hello, ever watched. Yeah. And welcome I couldn't tell if you and Simon were friends or boyfriends or right. there was so much love in the air. I was like, these you guys didn't are know nice. who we who we whether we were like lovers or just, you're just like I love you're just saying how so much love in the videos. Hmm. Oh. It was good to of Sunny Springs. Obviously, obviously a bit Simon dark. had his dog where it burnt alive, I think, if I'm thinking. So I must one. have been editing these back in the day. I oh, yeah. oh yeah, this was this was how I used to edit stuff. I used yeah. to edit this with, I used to basically get like a big picture and I used to either do it myself or get someone to do it for me. And then I would pan down in a slow pan. <laughs> yeah. By the inkable, which the water <laughs> well, I didn't even, water looks man. like I didn't even pan this Where's one. The water I just cut to the lower stage. <laughs> oh, there you go. Peel effect. Page peel effect. <laughs> so that was Sony Vegas page Woo. peel. I did that in. Take it easy. Old school. So this is back in 2011 still. So we did so many of these. Yeah. Uh, hmm. The Tourist, the Wizard Gandhi, Archer Hero, Fall of Gondolin, Dropper, Pumpkin Prince, Chrono Tide, Hero Bride's Mansion... The Swarm Rebirth, Infected Pyramid Adventure, Zombie Apocalypse. I think these are all 2011, aren't they? These are all very old school adventure maps. Um, and some of them, oh my God. you know, were previous. That's and 2013. Some so, so this one, which I've got in my folder, um, which I'll, you'll have to cut away from this, Sam, just so I can dig it out without showing all the shit in this folder, um, is, is from then. It's from... 13th of October 2013. It's called Arctic Survival. This was Craig Frost's edit test. 
So basically, yeah, Craig Frost, he works Craig all. He's he ha- edited this. Films, I dug this out of his fella. old Dropbox folder. So the way we used to work with Craig and other some external stuff, we used to send them raw files. They would edit them into videos and send them back. Mm-hmm. And I think he did it. We paid him for it, but yeah. then it was never Least. released. Yeah. So I don't know. This could be absolute crap. It could be fine. It could be rubbish. If you've not watched all of the other, like, you know, if you don't want to, like, watch... Oh, oh Wirecast's broken. Sorry, guys. You can still hear us, maybe. If, you, if, you, if you've not seen all the original old Minecraft series, this probably won't yeah, of mean anything. Well, this is, this, is, uh, this is a standalone thing. You don't need to have watched anything else, really, do you? It's you and Simon having a little play in the Arctic. Isn't it like Survival Island? Is that the idea? I like think an it, Arctic Survival it's like Island? an adventure map. We looked oh, is up. It? Yeah, I think so. But I think it's like fairly open. You're yeah. supposed to like. Anyway, you guys ready? I'm going back in time six years. Three, two, one, go. Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Simon. Brr, brr, I know. Brr, I'm freezing. I know. It's getting to winter, brr. but we we we're, we're actually in the Arctic. Uh, we were on a Yog Labs routine patrol off the north coast of Siberia and I sh- wanted to see some seals a ship ran aground I think um, yeah there's a bit of a fire going on over your shoulder um, oh yeah this is the that's the, the ship that was the ship what was the name of the ship oh my goodness you named it I think uh, <laughs> I think it was called the SS Lemon Party or something like that <laughs> yeah right oh there's a chest here um so this is a we're in a survival scenario, Lewis. We've got to not freeze to death yeah. and die out here. Oh god, there's another chest. Okay, grab grab some oh. supplies. I have got a let's let's assess our situations. Let's let's consolidate okay. what we've got. We've got to consolidate all of our existing loans into one simple repayment. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Uh, we have got uh, some wooden blocks. Yeah. We've got a clock, five sticks, a potato. Potato? Three string, two bread, two jungle sapling. Okay, now, first of all, we are going to need to find dirt, put down dirt, and put saplings down, and then we will essentially have a renewable source of wood, endless wood. Yeah. He's, oh, there's a dog. I thought I saw another one. Now, this is a survival map, like Survival Island, and there's little challenges. There's loads of little challenges. We'll, uh, we'll get to them as we go. But the usual challenges apply. Survive, don't die... Build out the little crap. Now, you've been playing quite a bit of Minecraft, haven't you, solo? Um, yeah, um, so I'm really good at it. You built a hobbit hole. I, I was have. You build a hobbit I always hole. build a hobbit hole, it's pretty the first, much. It's the go-to. Oh, Jesus, there's a horse. A horse made it, Simon. Your horse has made it. Oh, good. I've got a name tag. What was so... his na- name? Oh. Oh. You're playing off the network. Where have you downloaded it? Jeremy. Oh, I'll be... I've... What oh, I can't it? name him because we haven't got a uh, an anvil yet. Don't worry. What was his name? Do you remember? His name, um, well, because he's he's white and beautiful. Um, I called him um, Paris Hilton. No, I've already <laughs> called a horse that. He can't be Paris Hilton again. <laughs> um, he's he's a beautiful white filly, and I've called him Jennifer Lawrence. There we go. <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Uh, well, I've got some leads here for Jennifer, should you wish to lead her to wherever. And some okay. sugar. Does she eat sugar? Um, I don't know. I think I think so. Okay. I think so. Good. I'm, I'm um, glad. Um, we'll put... Okay. We... What time is it? It's uh, midday. However, it is snowing, which means mobs can spawn. Are we actually on... Like a normal difficulty, or yeah. are we still on peaceful? Or a difficulty normal? Okay, as far as I know, that's good. Yeah, uh, I can make not easy or normal. Good. So mobs sh- they can spawn in 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 the snow. So this is the ship, the SS whatever, and <laughs> we are going to. Uh, there's an upstairs area actually. If you want to have a look upstairs, there is. I. It doesn't look like there's very much up there. See if you can crack um, in. There might be a captain's log. Supplemental or something like that that told us what <laughs> happened. Captain's log, supplemental. <laughs> Love that. Commander Data has lost his trousers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's awful. Oh god. So we've got a couple of Arctic buildings that we've washed up at. 
up ahead, there is there's one building to the left. There's a group of three buildings, and far over to the right, there is a tall building. There's also a really short building. Now I've heard, I'm hearing yeah, of testing oh villager God, going routine. Oh, oh God, yeah, right. facts. facts. Wow, I found a a little kind of Arctic sort of shack with two ladder, two coal, some more sticks, some sugar cane, oh. a raw fish, and a raw chicken. Right. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Now, maybe I should put all this stuff back. The potato and the sugar cane we're going to need in the survival environment, aren't we? And seeds, yeah. probably. And the jungle. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need all this stuff. Pretty much. The string. Um, hmm. What's this here? Is that just the outside? Something that's worrying me is that this isn't stone. This is all like... You know, the weird paving slabs. Oh, those buildings are actually made of stone, These though, These buildings aren't they? are made of, of smooth stone, yes. Okay, which building? Oh, you're over there. Okay. I'll go to the left-hand one here with all the snow. Right, there's 12 sand and a bucket. Sand? Oh, my goodness, there's a hole. I guess sand's good for glass. We've got um, a cauldron. We've got a boat. Oh, in case we wanted to quest back... <laughs> Home, Simon. Oh. Oh, wood, crafting table, wheat, stone tools, some iron bars. You know what? I might take the chest with me as well, actually. It doesn't look like there's <laughs> sure. much else down here. There's a couple of horses. There's a sheep. This is a long way. Whoa, up. what? Horses and a sheep? Yeah. What? So there's two black horses here. One of them is just chilling out on the ice, slipping around. Okay. Arctic horse. Now, the sheep don't kill it because we can get endless wool from it if we get two iron. I can hear that testificate. I can hear zombie there as well. Okay. Um, um, there's a what looks like a lighthouse here. And a chicken. There's a, there's a box of chickens. <laughs> Three chickens. Furnace. Oh, my God. Okay, I found a, a nice building with, I think, a bunk bed. <laughs> But there's no actual bed there. <laughs> there's some wheat growing inside the house. There's a fur. So this is classic old school Minecraft. Oh my god, <laughs> this is like, oh my god, a, f a flipping serious classic. I'm I'm enjoying this. Okay, guys, look, this is unseen. Okay, I don't. Yeah, so far this map uneventful. Okay, but a bit slowly paced. We don't know. Chill, I'm not skipping. Relax. I'm not gonna skip. We're just gonna. We're just going to experience this together, okay? I can't remember any of this. No, no, you can't remember doing it at all. I can't remember doing it. I can't remember You've anything. There's so many, there's no way you'd be able to remember this. Furnace with charcoal. Oh, my God. There's raw chicken, raw <laughs> fish, potato. That's what I put in there. Oh, yeah. right, okay. See, this is where you've been, right. Yeah. Do you know what? This should be our base, not the the ship. Because this, this is awesome, this building. We're going to have to get the horse off the ship, then. Well, we can leave it there. Um... For a while. Okay. It'll be fine. We need to make a homely... We need to make a house a home. Make a house a home. Uh, okay, good. Make a house a home. That's uh, that's Rob Brydon, I guess. Is it? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, have you been down into this hole <laughs> at all? Um. Oh, my God. Well, there's a... Um, well, that's quite something. In this house, Ooh. there's a hole with a creeper in it. Oh. Okay. I... Is that good? And a skeleton. Um, right. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> Skeletons are good because we can get arrows and bone meal from them. I've got melon seeds. Are they spawning because of a spawner or just because it's dark down there? And no, also no. melon seeds. Oh, my God. I'm going to put all of this stuff in our chest because we're going to need those melon seeds. We are going to need them. But we oh. don't... Simon. Hello. Well, there's a creeper in that house as well. Okay, we've got creepers in both houses. That's not so good. I think the sun's going down as well now. Um, creepers, and this is the only decent house that we've got. So, melon seeds in there. Not too worried about wood. I'm just I'm worried about these precious seeds, really, and the paper and stuff. The potato. There's something on top of that middle building. Um, We're gonna need a holy oh. shit! There is a lot of zombies. Yeah, I know. They're all they're all our crewmates from the. Oh SS no! 
Oh, these are all the testificates, all burning to death. Yeah. They turned to zombies. It was a terrible plague on board. That must be why we crashed. It's all coming back. Oh yeah, do you remember the 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 captain? He turned into a zombie, Did he? and um, it was horrible. Oh, it was horrible. It oh, was, it was terrible. It was, it was horrid, 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 horrid. <laughs> really was, it was um, horrid, horrid of all. Turn the brightness up. There you go. So yeah, I've got a load of got some gear, um, stone pickaxe, stone shovel. Um, Do you think we should make an igloo? Um, I don't really see the point in making an igloo when, you know... We have a stone brick building. Yeah, we've got like a, an actual house here. That seems a little bit crazy. We probably need to be careful clearing... We need to clear some of the snow out of it. It's quite snowy out here. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. It keeps like... Stopping. Are you using a shovel to do it, or are you just punching it Hello. like an idiot? Don't break this window. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come around the front. Yeah, we don't want to get snowed in. It is night time, so you might want to be careful. Um, What's that? Is that a shovel? Yeah, I just chucked it at you as you okay. walked in. <laughs> What's this here? Do you think? It's a uh, little hydroponics. They've got set up. What do you think it is, though? What do you think that? What do you think that? Um. That's wheat growing. Okay, is it? What else could it be? I don't know. It's wheat. Can you walk on stuff now and it not knock it off? Um. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, this isn't getting irrigated. I'm not sure where the water's coming from. It might be underneath it. <coughs> well, I just jumped on that and it smashed it up. So. So don't do that. Oh, God. Hmm. That is weird. It's going to dry out. Those two. But I think if you put the melon in the middle, then it will grow onto those dry bits That's in okay. actual melon. We'll worry about that in the morning. We'll cross that bridge. So we, the first thing we need to... It's a bit, it's a bit slow. <laughs> Classic now, you know. It's I like a vintage car. Bro it is, it is. It's like... Your car goes a bit slow, breaks down a little bit, but it's classic. You it know. is, isn't it? It's like... Uh, so, so uh, from what I remember, Simon had been playing Minecraft himself. He had actually been playing independently, and I think he wanted to play a pack like this. Just a relaxed build. He wanted to have a sort of a more... And he had a plan almost. He knew that, like... Maybe he didn't have a plan, but at least he knew... He'd been playing vanilla Minecraft. Mm. Um, but yeah, sorry. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like, it's it's weird. All right, carry on. We'll carry on. Three, two, one, Do go. Is, is have you found any tunnels or yeah there's a ton of tunnels and also creepers in them and stuff okay i've got torches should i chuck you some torches yeah it might be actually smarter to um just explore the over above ground land stuff first all of the buildings and the other stuff because i saw there were quite a few sort of islands and things right so maybe if we can search those properly first we might find a bit of useful stuff bring the sheep back for example Tie him up and do all that stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can tie him to a fence with a a lead. A lead. Okay, so I need the leads. I need a couple of bits of fences. I think this fence is right outside here as well. We could make a bit more fence with sticks, I guess. There's a bunch of mobs that I can hear as well. How do you make fence again? Um, Six sticks. Yeah. Go. I've made a couple of fence posts. <laughs> okay. Cool. We got enough. We got a couple of ladders. How is that? I'll make a couple more. Get a help. Us. I don't have any two fences. Weapons. <laughs> um, I've got a stone shovel and a stone hoe. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, there it is. What do we need? I'll put. I'll put. I'll put everything back in here just in case. Uh, Die. What did the map have on it? The map. Uh, it's not terribly useful, really, is it? Oh, it shows our island that we're on. But not even all of the island. It's all. Stops. Hmm. Uh. Well, that's still it's still useful. So we want to head. I. I mean, I went over to the other side of the island, and it was. It was. Yeah, it was boring. Um. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. See, I'll be keen on exploring the nearest buildings because this is like. It's almost like a research lab, like you'd have in Antarctica. Only, we're not in Antarctica, are we? We're in the Arctic, aren't we? We're in the Arctic, yes. So we're the northern bit. 
So that means no penguins. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. But there are polar bears. However, there are polar bears. Yeah. That's mm, that's also not good. Creepers. Are, they and the, creepers. are they at the North Pole? Normally? Creepers, I think, are they're basically polar bears gone bad, gone worse. <laughs> I hate these iron doors. Don't you? See that spider over there, just like eyeing us up. See, boredom's getting the better of us now. We're like trapped indoors with no bed in Minecraft, you know. we got to go outside. got to think of something else to do now. On a so, yeah, these moons I'm telling you about, and there's like creepers and horrible stuff in them. Um, but I think what we should probably do is just demolish them. What? Yeah. And build our own complex. You know, because these are like cheaply built. Oh, shit! Oh, God. I don't want to go in the house, Simon. He crept up to, on me. We're going to have to shovel these three, four zombies to death. There's a lot of... Mm. Oh, God, there's another Lump one coming. Brain. And another one. <laughs> la, la, la. Are you all right out there? Can you hold the door for me? Uh, sure. There you go. There Help. you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, stop. There you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I'm in. You just, you Can stop. they even I'm come in? in? They're a bit too retarded to actually make it through a doorway. <laughs> Use the arse there. Right. Not mm, cool. Zombie brains. It was 2013. Oh, it's like I'm starving to death, actually. Cool yeah, if you've then. done a lot, like punched a lot of things, then, uh, yeah, you'll slowly starve. Oh, you've got bread, and I've got fucking zombie brains. Where did you get bread from? Uh, there was a bit of bread at the start, but there's a couple of wheat there, actually, we could use that. Uh, don't bake that potato. No. But you can probably cook the raw chicken and the raw fish, so I don't think we need those for anything. No, I don't think they do. But I've only got one bit of fuel, so... I've got a couple. What? A couple bits of coal. Just enough to keep us going. God, we're gonna get... If we, unless we're careful, we're gonna get hungry and dead soon. But at least it's nice and warm with the furnace going. We're gonna treat this a bit like, um, a bit hardcore, I think. Shall we see if we can treat this hardcore? Should we play it hardcore? So once we die, that's it. It's yeah. over. But what if one of us dies and the other one survives? Um, They'll have to keep playing by themselves. No, we both we both lose. We both lose. Yeah, it's double jeopardy. Can I haunt you if I die first? I'm going to haunt you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. um, good, good times. <laughs> uh, Shall I put... Um, I think we're good enough to play this hardcore, don't you? It's getting spicy now. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> home sweet home. There we go. It's the map. Oh, the home. The map. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, my bro. Oh, the old fucking... Um... How do I craft this again? The Yoglab Star Stargate one. I love that episode. So this was... Yeah, so Yoglab Stargate was great. And then this is the Yogs Quest 1 t-shirts. Mobile wow. viewers links below. Yeah. What does that even mean? Still... Yeah, that would still work. Mobile viewers, links in the description. Jesus Christ. Wow. Well, I mean, what? Play the outro. Sorry, of course. Oh, yeah. Play the outro. Sh -sh -sh -sh. Sorry. <laughs> so this outro is Euphemia by Area 11. Yeah. Which is Sparkles' um, band. And he obviously was involved um, with us at the start. And that is actually relevant to the, the thing that you're going to be seeing in a bit. Um, is that up next, or have you got something else? To well, we can, do, we can do part two of this, I guess, Ooh. can't we? Um, so, yeah, as you can see... This is 20 minutes. Um, how long have we got? 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, that's, that'll take us to quarter two. Okay, and then, and then we'll have a last game. 10 minutes to see and talk through the last okay. thing, okay? Oh. I'm intrigued by the title already. Gotta Simon's out belt. There. Interesting. In it, then we'll know what time Simon's out belt. He's got a clock? Yeah. Okay. How the hell have you got a clock? This is nice, actually. It is nice, actually. It's useful. I wish these were real beds instead of just carpet. We'll put real beds down here. All right. Do we have to sleep that close to each other? Look, it's for warmth, it's cold, it's the Arctic. I'm a little bit worried that you might just, you know, I'll wake up to you spooning me in the night. You'll be lucky. I'll just scream. 
Give us um, give us some, something cooked then. You want what a bit of chicken? Yeah, Have a bit of chicken. Oh, let's share it. Well, we can't really. Okay. Let's share it. <laughs> so you've got your saliva all over you... it now. Brilliant. <laughs> you could have the fish if you want. Do you want the fish? Um, I've already eaten the fish. Good. Well, uh, there you go. It was a bit bony. Do you think one of us should use this string and go fishing and get some food? That is a very good idea. That is a very good idea. Okay. Someone all right. Well, I could, I could do that. There's some sticks. I'll go fishing. And you... Ice fishing. You get the sheep. Okay. Um, ice fishing. That makes it sound like an extreme sport, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, I there's know the that leads. Go and bring back some animals. All right. And I'll get us some dinner. Will the zombies touch <laughs> the, um, the sheep? I don't know. I do not know. Um, we still don't have any weapons. If we could get a little bit of... Tiny bit of stone. Oh, I don't know if we should be, you, you know... Oh, we got to plant the bloody tree as well. Oh, yeah, there's another sapling up here, actually, in the house. This plant is a, is a sapling. I've got... OK, I've got a sapling. So we could nurture that sapling. We should go out and see if we can get some bones off these skeletons so we can have bone meal. That's another thing we need to do. Right. They're all burning to death now, so be careful. All right. There's... there's oh, fuck me. There's four creepers over there. <laughs> Where? Um... Oh, jeez. Oh <laughs> okay, ignore that house. Oh, don't get our stuff blown up. It's fine, it's God. fine. Uh, I'm going to make... Oh, that's the ship. Let's yeah, go this I'm way. going over to the... Uh, away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm over to the away. not going to be near the creepers. Um, okay, yeah, this is good. Am I going to need, like, basic materials to, like, adventure with? Um... Well, you need a weapon. So, if you can, try and get some normal stone. See if any of those the shit little buildings over there have got any... Um... There's a bunch of chickens here and some eggs. It's a shame we can't cook eggs, isn't it, really? What do you think? Sorry about the lag. I don't know I think what it's a shame. Um, I think it is a crying shame that I you can't... a big shame. Cook eggs. Oh, okay, I've got a fish. I've got some dinner, honey. Oh, sweet. Well done, sir. So there's a couple of sheep I call here. you honey and you call me sir. Yeah. What's uh, that all about? I don't know, it's, a, it's politeness. Come on, sheepies. I've got two sheep here, Simon. I'm bringing them back. Bringing them back to you. It's got seven. Back to our flipping creeper-infested base camp. Why is it? Did we get any bones? Is there any dead skeletons? Um, I couldn't. I didn't notice any. Um, though there were actually skeletons not far from me, so I might wander just over there. Yeah, okay, these sheep tied I don't up. Think you have to mount. Tied up, boys. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Why did that? Tied up. Good. There it is. You could you could cheer the sheep when you're back. Oof. With uh, you need some shears though, so you're gonna need some iron. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now I'm gonna run across the ice to one of these two islands that I've spotted, okay, which I got my eye on yesterday, um, and seek out... New life, a new civilization. New riches for us to use. To uh, boldly go where no spaceman has gone before. Now, what do you think could be over here? Oh, there's... Um... You think there'd be a lab or, or something... If this was like a research. Well, there's place. like bits of glass just randomly here. It seems like just not. It's not it might have washed up. Actually, how did how does a plane of glass get washed up? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Surely it would have broken. Is it broken glass? Yeah, it's a bit broken up. Yeah. This is where the next time spoiler. Oh. Oh, it's a little biome. Wait, what? With some soil, Simon. Soil. Are there any plants? Is there any wood? There's um, a bit of grass, a bit of dirt. There's okay. grass. Oh my god, there's grass. Well, you can get seeds from that for wheat, but... What should I do here? Um, I don't want to break any of the grass, do I? I want to retain the grass. 
I don't think it matters, really. Well, we can silk it? touch, remember, a bit of... Also, grass you can just make by putting bone meal on, like, soy... Oh, shit, yeah, grass. Oh. Actual grass. I do have an actual grass block here, so I can bring it back. Oh. And I've got pumpkin seeds, too. Okay. Okay, do you want me to bring this all back? Bring it all back. Bring it all back now. And there also is this stuff here, which I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be quartz. Quartz? <laughs> taking it yeah. far. Can't you just mouse over it? And I've got a fir tree. So we can make a nice garden outside base camp. I think we need to destroy these old dilapidated buildings some because they're just creeper spawning, aren't they? <laughs> um, just dis what, destroy buildings. Yeah, it's a bit. What if the like original people come back? They wouldn't be happy. What are they gonna do? Kill us? Look, we had to do. We did what we had to do to survive. Sue us? That'd be even worse. We did what we had to do to survive, Simon. And if anyone asks, that's what the story I'm sticking to. Okay. All right. All right. I've got a little bit of fish. Twenty-eight dirt. Um. There's a bat just flying around. Um, a bit weird. We're going to have to explore this abandoned old... Um, seems to be like... Or it might be like a... It's weird. It's like a rig or something. An oil rig. It's weird. I'm going to actually... I keep forgetting that I can just run across the ice and go and have a look at it. What the heck is this? Is there anything up there? Oh, there's a chest. Okay, oh, right. That was crafty. I can hear I can hear a testificate again. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Iron ingot. Ice, don't pickaxe, raw fish. Alright. I can hear a Boutini. Is he over there? I can see him. He's green. There's a man, He's Simon. Green? I found a man. Does he have a name? A friendly man. Oh my god! Let's see. Lewis! What? The tree! It's a big boy. Is it grown up? It's a big boy. He's a big old tree, this. Um, Achievement get. Oh, I found him. He has got a name. Mr. M what? Maye, I think that's pronounced. Maye. He will sell us carrots. Ooh. Or melons. But for what? Or boots or bones. For what, though? What's he In want? return for iron, ingots. Oh, Jesus. Or coal. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good to know. None of those are renewable. It's a bit annoying. Even so, I think that's a good thing to know that we can trade with this guy. So where do you think we're going to get our iron from? The ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Do you reckon there's a mine underneath our, our, our base then? I bloody hope so, because I don't know what we do otherwise. Um... I reckon there'll be little pockets of, you know, actual useful stuff. What's happened to all the creepers back here? Did you deal with them? Uh, yeah, I killed them all. Well done. God, it was amazing. I was amazing. I... <laughs> Top quality stream no right idea. here. Yep. You were so skilled. It was incredible. Such a fight. Hmm, we're going to need enough... Oh, enough fuck. wood to make fences. I've got a whole bunch of wood. We are very being very practical, aren't we? We need stone, really. Or we could just make scrubby wooden swords, like we're fucking noobs. Used to uh, be able to uh, get away I've got, with this shit. Just, let's just oh, hang shoot? on. I've got a stone pick. I'll dig some stone off one of these old buildings. Okay. One that we are definitely not using. Right. Yeah, the next door one. It's got to be getting dark again soon, isn't it? We're not going to use this building. This is the mining building, and it's just... Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay. Let's get... Oh, my God! Spawn. Spawn cow, spawn sheep, spawn pig. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's going to set us up proper good. And we need to find a way to breed them so they have babies. Now, have you been down this mine shaft yet? No, nope, I'm just removing the roof of this building. Okay, <laughs> I'm undermining all of the... Uh... See, you should have started with the top of the building, but you're an idiot. So you just, like, randomly took out the side. Well, I was going to leave one wall up. 
I'm just gonna break What a questionable box. choice. I know it's bad, but. Oh my god. We go do. That's not what I want to hear. Okay. This is much more open now. Let's get this sand. Oh, can I get. There we go. Let's take these with me as well. 12 sand. So these maps, right? We're kind of like Survival Line, and the idea was that you were supposed to sort of just play Minecraft, right? Mm. Weirdly, like, there wasn't any... We weren't trying to do, like, a story in this or, like, try and... No. This, I mean, people, I think, can figure out why this didn't go out, but, like, do you know what I mean? Is it, like, it's kind of... Th th these were a specific type of genre, so you, you get, like, a checklist. It'd be, like, have a carrot farm, you know, breed five sheep, like... Do you know what I mean? There was a list of things to do, mm -hmm. and the point is that Simon was quite keen to go through one of these survival lines and sure. and take take our time right. and right. build down in this hole, like down in a hole, a an actual like base and nothing else. It's got its charm to it. It's I mean, you can imagine like binging a whole oak playlist oak of this oh. very relaxed. Oh, oh nice, feel, that's it? nice. It's like ASMR. That's what we need yeah. it. Now, how are we gonna do? It's iron? not exactly joke a minute. Uh, we need you to find release, it, mate. We could release like three or four videos a day. It's the big question. The big question. Um, is there an iron? I feel this is a much more stream oh, pace, though, isn't it? It's, it's oh, uh, yeah, yeah. sunsetting. Actually, if this is the Antarctic... Oh, sorry, the Arctic. Even, what's the difference? If this is the Arctic... One of them's up, one of them's not. Right. Surely the, the sun... Because it's, like, winter here. Yeah. The day should be a lot longer. No, the exact opposite. The night should be a lot longer. Oh. In the Arctic. Actually, I'm quite glad that isn't the case, then. Oh my god, there's a heavily armoured zombie approaching Simon. He's got gold armour. Kill him. Headbutt him. Well, he's got gold armour on, so this might be a little bit risky. He won't drop gold armour either, will he? Prick. <laughs> How many hits is he going to take, do you think? Oh, not too many. He dropped a brain. Brilliant. I can hear a Wootini, like here. Um, are you just above where the villager was, though? If he was underground. Which villager was underground? Uh, isn't there just one villager? No, I found a villager over on the other, completely other area. Oh, what? In the, um, the other villagers at the other far end of the island. There's got to be a villager underground, because we could hear it when we walked over, like, the graves. So under the graves, there's got to be a villager. Maybe there was a villager buried alive. There's a zombie coming towards you. He doesn't look happy. All right, let's get out of here. Um, so I can hear him now. There's a villager right under here. Yeah, I know, I know. We might have to see if we can dig him out tomorrow morning. Aren't the graves for like the the people who died on the the um, SS Lemon party? I don't know. I don't know. You're still just you're still not that. using a sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've only just got an, um, go. a bunch of stone. Oh, cheers, man. You're welcome. Okay. Um, oh, skeleton. Kill him. Okay, I'll distract him. You kill him. Um. Hang on. Come oh, here, you rotter. Team, team, team plays. People. Teamwork. <gasps> teamwork! That's I'm the same. Teamwork! <laughs> okay. <sighs> I... Hmm. I what? I love you. I robot. I love you. Uh, I love you. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. Uh, there is a, one of every type of sapling by the looks. Look. Oh, that's a, nice. A birch and oak, a jungle of the spruce. Oh. So we're going to have a fall. That's probably a challenge. Trees. Take the birch. What? Grow we've one got of each tree. A sheep yeah. outside, and we've got two spawn sheep eggs. Yep. So we can spawn a pair of sheep. A pair of sheep? Yep. And then we can have little sheep babbies. Now, do yeah, you this think. Is what you have on wall, you're doing something else, you know. Const what do you think we should concentrate on? company. Are you making some fish? Uh, I'm cooking fish. Okay. That's our dinner. Here's a couple more fish that I found on the way. What? There you go. You've caught half as many fish as I did, and you weren't even fishing. I know. I was searching. I was scrounging. I was just scrounging around. Okay. Well, here's there's a couple of cooked fish for your dinner. Oh, they look I delicious. Flew, I threw on the floor. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fine. Five second rule. We're good. Yep. Oh, I could do with another one. Have you got? No, um, yeah, sure, buddy. Oh, nom, you go. Nom, nom. Then I'll be, then I'll be full. Well, actually, I'll save it. I'll wait half heart, and then I'll use it. Yeah, I mean, you don't. I want to get maximum efficiency. 
Yeah. Help these fish. Yeah. That's good. You you you're good. You're getting good at this game, Lewis. I'm quite impressed. Thanks, man. Yeah, one day you might be considered a pro Minecraft player. One day. No, no, I don't think there will ever be that day. One day. Never will that day come. I'm gonna make an axe. <laughs> oh, um Right. Uh that well that happened. Um <laughs> you can't really ignore that. Um <laughs> I'd just like to apologize. <laughs> To my family who might be watching. Yes. Um, and to any of the families who are offended. I've embarrassed you. By Simon's outburst. In front of the internet. Outbelch. All of the internet. Simon's outbelch. Do you... Oh, bucket. That's quite useful, isn't it? That was it. That was think... the title of the video. I, I, that was I the think we best moment. At home. <laughs> what do you think should, this should be called? Um, should we make a sign? Sure. And then we can actually put, put a sign up. Yeah. And it'll be the name of the house. What would you like to call it? Um... Simon's hole. No. Um, uh, well, where, well, the sign should be outside, really, shouldn't it? Probably, yes. Um, yeah, do you want to... It's mi literally midnight. Yeah. I'll cover you while you do this. All right, okay. Okay, just cover me. Okay. You're not doing a very good job oh, of covering me. Jesus. I'm going to be honest. Just don't do... Back um, off. Oh, we've added some sound. Oh, there's no behind us. Oh, let's get back. Let's, let's pause to this. <laughs> this is a disaster. Jesus Christ. This is a disaster. Um, open. Okay. Ah. <sighs> so, what are we going to call the house? <laughs> <laughs> you've got a bit of, you got an arrow in your knee, literally. Oh. In the back of your knee. Does, does that happen? Does that actually happen? Got, so we've got all the types of tree, we've got all the types of seed, we've got melon, pumpkin, sugar cane, potato. I know where there's a oh. carrot, so then we can get carrots too. And then we have a perfect farm. Bench and of course we've got all the animals. So basically we could just literally do farm sim for the next 10 episodes and make a gigantic farm. Would you like that, everyone? Minecraft vanilla farm sim. I think that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? To survive. I think to survive... If we're really gonna survive, <laughs> win it to do a bit of farming. It's a minute more hard we, we take down. We, do the, the, we take down all these adjacent buildings. I wanted to see seals, and instead I became a seal. Oh. <laughs> You're making a seal noise there as well. <laughs> yeah. You literally became a seal. <laughs> All right, well, look, let's have a little break. All right. Um, we'll be back on Arctic Survival. I think we might have a see if we can have a guest along to help us um, get with some more inspirational builds. Um, Duncan will know what to do, won't he? Uh, or Shin. I don't want Duncan. He's always in our videos. Can we get someone else? Shin's the master of farming, so maybe we'll, we'll ask him along and he'll, he'll run that farm. And then we can kill him off and then, you know... Then we can get someone else in. No, he can, like, do all the farming and we can just, you know... Oh, I like farming. I'm from a family of... Farm farmers. Farmings. Well, there's a few farmers actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And it runs in your blood, does it? Yeah, farming runs in my blood. My blood is um, the colour of apples. Farm. Big red apples that you would cook <laughs> on a farm. I don't know much about farming. No. I don't know if you could tell. That was your, um, your the, the extent of your knowledge was saying the word farm several times. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's sort of what I expected, Simon. So don't worry about it. Uh, yes, I think what we need to do is we need to make an orchard, we need to make a farm. I'm actually quite excited to do it. Uh, and we'll pick that up next time. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye! So there you go. That was the lost fucking videos, guys. Those lost videos. Holy shit. Yep. Okay. That was the video. So, we'll quickly do the donations. Um, if you've donated, why? If you've donated to our stream, thank you. Um, we have got donations from Jimmy Raybold. Uh, finish the series, people are saying in chat. Uh, Jimmy Raybold, been watching since you guys since Survival Island. Lewis, what series are you most proud of? I think it's Arctic Survival is the wow, series yeah. I'm most proud of. So, no, seriously, the um, the. The, these these videos were obviously I gen I think I genuinely was excited I think I think like it's it's a, a product of its time it's a strange sort of 
I think we were just making videos to see what was stuck. I think we thought that it might have more story to it. Yeah. It might have like more mystery and like pages and stuff, but we just didn't have anyone to test it back then. I was just downloading stuff and loading it up Seeing and doing it. After I think at a certain point in time, it would be like someone like, you know, when Tom and Ben came on, they would test these maps out and say, oh yeah, this is worth playing or this is a load of crap. And I think normally something like this, we wouldn't have even loaded it up. But I think... We just felt like playing Minecraft one afternoon. I think that's that's where this video came from, really. I think mm -hmm. Simon wanted to play it. I wanted to play it. And we played it and we had fun. And it wasn't wasn't very intense. I think it probably would have made a good series if it was like a long thing that people could play in the background. I think these days, these th this is what YouTube used to be like, though, a little bit. Um, it was a bit slow paced. You know, you did these long series and We're left less them editing. on. And less editing, less faff, like just a bit of chat. Not very many jokes. And we weren't particularly witty either, were they? I think it made me laugh a bit, and that's maybe all it needed. Uh, there was probably a test certificate under the snow. I mean, Arctic Survival, greater than Shadow of Israel, maybe. Um, anyway, thank you, Jimmy Raybold. Uh, the Hiv uh, has donated. Thank you. Uh, Optional has donated 35 bucks. Sam M has bought the bundle. Thank you. We're doing this for charity, of course. Uh, Cody Raisavi says, thought I'd add to my donation to say this. Tom B., I seriously appreciate and love the work you do for the Oscast. Honestly, you're one of my role models. Thank you very much. Thank you. Erstradamus and Ducky. Chris P. Bacon, thank you. Jake, donate to Hundo. Thank you very much, Jake. Holy shit. Uh, Jeff Bowman, my girlfriend bought me the Diggy Wiggy Diggy book for Christmas, which I didn't even know existed. She found it at a local book fair. Holy crap, well, there you go. An old copy of the Diggy Diggy book. Maybe it's got a signature in it. Who knows? Um, Fonjask, thank you very much. Um, while we're on behind the scenes, as I recall... Uh, the only time we Reddit mods were asked by a Yogscast member to remove something was when one Yogscast member posted on the so sub that uh, the tanks they used were from Tom's dad. And Tom mailed us, asking us to remove that comment because his father had gotten a phone call from someone on the internet. Oh, wow. Amazing. Well, there you go. That's the thing. Um, will Sullivan, thank you very much. This afternoon chat's been enjoying the Jungle Jam live for the first time this year. You guys have smashed it. Smashed it. Thank you very much. Uh, friendly Elf Owl says Val is the best person ever. Happy Jingle Jam, Lewis. Thank you very much, Friendly Elf Owl. Thank you, Ben Vickers. Thank you, Alex H. Love it when you guys talk about this sort of stuff, how things are made. Thank you very much, Uchiha, Drew, and Amaria. Thank you, Somebody. Thank you, Monty. Uh, thank you, Owen, or Owen. Thank you very much, Benedict Fuben. Thank you, Blaze the Fox. And thank you. Oh, my gosh. It sounds like you've had a terrible time. Um, Blaze of Fox. I hope you're feeling better now. Holy crap. Uh, I'm just rushing through these because I want to get this, this SOI thing done before the end of the stream. Coming up next, of course, is High Rollers. Uh, Gustav Nivbrand, donated 35 bucks. Alex Cad donated 10 bucks. Anonymous, thank you. He donated 250 <laughs> bucks. And Inas has donated a fiver. Thank you very much. So, yeah, we're doing this for charity. Humblebundle.com slash hugs. Cast or humble.com slash yuck. So, okay, this is yeah. what I've got for us, Tom. Yep. So, back in the day, there, when we were doing Shadow of Israel, back in 2012, we were approached yeah. by a gentleman and he put together a, a he was going to do an animatic, like an animation, and he wanted to put it into an episode of, of Shadow of Israel. And so, we talked to him about it and we sent him a load of stuff. And there's stuff here. There's so, so, hang on, this was going to be. Inside an episode, this or it was going to be a standalone animation. This was going to be in. This was going to be inside an, an episode of Shadow of Israel. Yeah, right. and it never got finished. Was it, do we need context? Was, wasn't it a battle or something? Um, so he asked for a load of reference stuff, and it looks like this is a load of reference stuff that we gave him. Hang on, we're not on this screen stuff. yet. So this is like. It's not, it's not up yet. So he wanted a load of reference reference materials. So we've got apparently there this was go. all screenshots taken in. 2012. So there's like some some dwarven tanks. What well, this is stuff made by us? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. um, or made by me or someone or who knows. Back in the day, some dwarven tanks there. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff in this folder, which I don't really know what any of this is. There's there's clips of um, some some things from Shadow of Israel days. Oh my gosh, look at this. And then there's we gave him the um, the stuff, and there's also uh, there's also the robot. Do you remember the robot that was buried in the sand? In the sand? So it looked a bit like this. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. 
so there's some. We never saw the full robot though, right? We only saw bits of it sticking out. Didn't yeah, we? yeah, yeah. So we built we built it and then buried it. You know, so mm. we knew what it was supposed to look like. Um, and then this is the thing. So the second of the tenth, twenty thirteen, this file was rendered out. And this was, I think, the most up to date thing. Now, before this happened, there was like an animatic version of it. Okay, so he sent us the animatic. I think over a year before this. Um, so it's my downloads here. This is the animatic. It's like a 360p animatic. It's like four minutes long. Um, and I feel like this is a better thing to show you maybe of what it was supposed to be like. How long have we got? We've got enough time. Anyway, it's like a 360p animatic. It's a mov. It's very old. It's like four minutes long. This was done in, does it have a date on it? I think it was done in like June 2012. 2012. Okay. So it's ages ago. And I, I think the guy who did it, I don't know what happened to him, but he stopped working on it. We stopped working on it. It stopped. Anyway, this is sort of slightly more animated storyboard. And then this is, so this was, um, this was back in, oh, should I just play it? Fuck just it. play it. Play it. You ready? Yeah. So this is from 2012. And it was a thing a guy did. And it doesn't have, maybe it does have something. Maybe it doesn't have sound. So that's what it looks like. Now. Okay, but yeah. maybe I should actually just play it with the the most recent version instead of this mad animatic. <laughs> so the most the most recent version he sent us was, I mean, was a not, year it, later. It, it's it's still like got rough animations and stuff. Okay, just we're just gonna leave this here, all right? 